I'ma keep it moving. Freesta, he's gonna take some shots. Now he's got Zell to deal with, and look at that snap. Will I ever stop it? Actually, gonna be able to find some skills that have life advantage, but Scum with three! Trying to do it inside the play, but Cammy doesn't want to go down without a fight. Another triples, the multi kills keep on stacking up. Gotta land a throw though. Can Illy be the hero? He does it! Illy clutches up for the 1v2! Two times, able to win one on one, but that free stun, he gets spotted. This is gonna be a stat. Dallas, come out swinging. Ridiculous performance coming out of Empire. You see it get there. It's just Crim and Ultra bring it back. As the child towards the middle of the map. Formal going big in the round, and he wins that one too. Optic take it 6 4. Ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time. Major Four Grand Finals presented by Game Fuel, and here we go. One side of the stage, very familiar, decked out in red, of course, Atlanta face. Everyone expects them to be here, but well done to Dallas Empire for making it the whole way. What an incredible upset against Toronto Ultra. Man, what a day it has been. What an incredible competition. It's been 470 days chance since we last crowned a champion on land. Today we get to do it again. My friend, how are you doing? How do you think I'm doing in this moment? Like, we were, like, watching Toronto. They were up 2-0. And in my mind, I'm riding keys to victory for, like, that finals matchup. in Dallas, one map at a time, making that comeback to get here. It has been an unreal performance out of those guys. And, frankly, for the past month, I've been dying to see Shotzi play against Simp and Ibizi just to see how the MVP can do. I'm glad you brought up Shotzi because he will be the player we'll be looking at as our Game Fuel featured player here in this grand final. Shotzi has had an incredible series against Toronto. Toronto Ultra to get us here, and wow, the plays are out of control. The movement king. There is no finer left stick in the entire league, friends. He will be the player that we will be keeping a close eye on. Again, current reigning world champion, MVP as well, you name it. One hell of a debut year he's had. Second year now in his Call of Duty career. We'll see if he can find the same blinding heights. Chance this hit is something else. I mean, nothing short of godlike. He is completely unreal, and I almost want to change my statement. We saw a ton of people after he's been playing this week make reference to do, I want to see Shotzi's POV at all times. Like, just leave the camera on him. I want to change that, too. I want to see everyone that Shotzi is taking a gunfight against. I want to see him, like, through walls with the movement just to see how unreal he can be to play against just one of the toughest kills in the league. He has been at his best. And in my mind, the key to taking down Atlanta phase, it's all about those SMGs. Shotzi has found his form, and well, this is the series where he absolutely needs to keep it up. I agree with you. There's something very interesting about seeing it from the other side, just to understand how difficult it is to play against. Quick look now at the quick scope brought to you by Scuff of the stage so far. Again, the tale of Atlanta phase, only a single loss in control, no losses in hard points so far. Search and destroy the only mode where there even seems to be a true weakness chance, but is that going to be enough for Empire here in this finals? I mean, make no mistake, they are very much fighting an uphill battle. I mean, Dallas has even gone against FaZe multiple times this year, and it has not been pretty. FaZe has just done whatever they wanted. They are 5-1 and one against Dallas in the hard points, 5-1 and one in the searches, and 4-1 and one in the control. They have completely had their number, but this is where the, the fact that Dallas now have Vivid in my mind, things get a bit of a mix up, right? The only way to take down FaZe, your SMGs absolutely need to be able to contend. There's very few teams in the league that have that sort of prowess with the SMG players on the squad. Toronto have it a little bit when Bant and Kleenex are on point. They can contend. Hydra in a seed like go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. And that's like the one real matchup where phases like sort of faltered. Now that Vivid's on the squad, like there's no SMGs dropping point sevens anymore for the Dallas side of things. So like if he can be on form in the first grand finals this kid has seen and stick with Shotzi the entire time, maybe they can produce some of that magic. Maybe they can produce that magic indeed. Wow, this is going to be an exciting grand finals. Friends, I've just received word we are ready Ready to start getting the players out onto the stage coming up first they're not the home team so we'll introduce them first ladies and gentlemen your reigning champs Atlanta phase the game has turned on its head run run get onto the point Sammy finds himself two more oh baby absolutely slate what a magnificent comeback from Atlanta. 
here we go. Atlanta phase coming up first. It is MacArthur Sillian Joe. 20 years old, he's the flex, and let me tell you, friends, what an absolute monster he is. Like walks in the park and uh, what, a little bit of uh, a bit of movies and chill after a heavy day of Call of Duty. Coming in next, though, you know him, you love him. It is Chris Sim That's right, we're going to go high over the Goex Light All Finals Long Friends. He's won 10 LAN tournaments before his 18th birthday. Last year's Respawn Player of the Year. One half of the Tiny Terrors. One of the most formidable Call of Duty players we have ever seen in the world. Keep an eye on him. This Finals Friends needs nothing without his cohort. Without his cohort. Without the other side of the Tiny Terrors. Ladies and gentlemen, Tyler! Yeah, there's some G in the squad. He's got one of the best flows in the league and some of the finest air as well. Some machine gun player extraordinaire. Mr. Entry Fragger, Mr. Do It All. We'll see if he can do the same. But again, rounding out the squad, one of the most formidable main ARs in the game. It is Alex Arsene Sanderson. Wasn't that fun? What a champion he truly is. Brought in to lead the phase squad to the promised land. Player of the stage from Major 3. And fun fact, he's a twin. Much love to the whole Sanderson gang. That's a lot of fun, Charles. There we go, Atlanta phase. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that one, fans. I certainly did. Charles, what do you think of them, mate? They are the champs. Uh, they are the champs. They are the boogeymen, the Baba Yaga, the final boss, whatever you want to call them. They're unreal. The most stacked, potentially rostered team we've had of all time across the board. Just ridiculous amount of talent. They just ooze it. It drips out of their veins. Really, across all game modes, as dominant as can be. There's nothing more you can say. They are the team to beat. It has been that way since this roster formed. It really has, man. I mean, when we saw the formation of this team, we all knew this was going to be something special. And it has proved to be just that. Truly, right in Call of Duty history, one tournament at a time. Not quite in that full dynasty we want yet. They're making a case for it. And this is going to be a big one. Now, though, friends, time to meet their opponents. From the ashes, they have risen. From the lower bracket, and an incredible reverse sweep over one of the tournament favorites, Toronto Ultra, in that previous series. Time to put your hands together. Welcome to the stage, Dallas Empire. Dallas Empire have smashed the gates open. Bella with the round one ace. Oh, it's a shot punch. Once again, they save the day. Dallas Empire coming in first. It's going to be Reese Vivid Brought into the team one month ago. The current record holder for 5v5 SD kills with 20. I doubt anyone will be beating that anytime soon. But Vivid, we had high hopes for him coming into this roster. Again, looking to fix the, the issues the team was facing. And now we're seeing that potential come through, though. Speaking of potential, the other side of the board when it comes to the SMGs, it is Anthony Shatsi Cuevas Castro. 19 years old, last year's MVP, and one of the finest submachine gun players you'll see. Meanest left stick in the league. Keep an eye out for him. He will also be our game fuel featured player here in this matchup. Can't wait to see what he does. The rest of the squad, though, we're halfway through, and now time to meet the Pope himself. Born in Canada, one of eight players to win a COD championship in his first ever appearance, the Pope. We'll see what he can bring today. Again, an absolute superstar in the search and destroy world. I am keen to see what happens. But here we go, friends, rounding out the squad. Coming in as the one, the only, the Porterhouse, Ian Krizix Porter! You know him, you love him, whether he's on the timeline or in interviews, putting together the good work. Krim, <laughs> the absolute king. <laughs> the winningest player in card history with 37 championships under his belt and what a belt it is the man is an absolute unit and i cannot wait to see what dallas empire bring here in this grand finals well pals we hope you enjoyed that one i lost it a little bit there when crim started doing the uh, the hands he may have just reached his final form but there we go chance dallas empire a definite underdog in this matchup let's see if they can get it done
I, and I think, you know, they might have it in a man. They have just been playing Unreal this tournament. Again, since they picked up Vivid on the team, they have been making steady improvements. Now they're at minimum top two right now. They have found that form since that stage one performance. They are back to where they were. Now it's about seeing if they can make those improvements. And Miles, I gotta say, I've been casting my kitchen for a year and a half. That was incredibly entertaining. That was very hard not to laugh and like spoil it. And then Crim6 just has to do Crim6 things. Oh, hey, man, what are you gonna do? But keys to victory. Shout out Game Fuel for the Dallas Empire. It's basically the same story we've been setting up. The SMGs, you need career high performances, right? You mentioned Vivid, like set the record in s and for kills in 5v5. He's gonna need to bring that type of energy today. And if you're looking on the flip side, they gotta make sure they handle a BZ. He has had their number all year long in search and destroy. Completely absurd KD. 15 first bloods against them. The next highest in the lobby is 10. After that, it falls off to five. A BZ in a class of his own. And then of course, you can never afford to take your foot off the gas. It is a potential best of nine. There might be a ton of maps, and if you start making a single mistake here or there, we already know FaZe is gonna take full advantage of it. Dallas, they gotta make sure they're on point. Well, if they can stay on point, we'll see how far the series can go though, but Chance, our reigning champs, the tournament favorites, Atlanta FaZe, their game fuel keys to victory, walk me through it. And look, the opening breaks for this team have always been on point. That 25-8 and record in the first hard point is the best in the league by a mile. They have a difficult thing that they are doing, though, right? Dallas Empire, they just played, what, 30 minutes ago. We know that their sticks are going to be warm. It's a little bit tougher for FaZe, but they got to set their tone early because, again, if you've had their number in the matchup, you don't want to start giving that team other confidence. So come out guns a-blazing, try to get that map won. And then after that, I mean, they're searching to destroy. They have a couple incredibly strong maps, but after those first two, it gets a little bit more 50-50 and potentially there's openings. That's why I think a guy like Tupac, I mean, you know that he has been grinding behind the scenes to make sure that they are gonna be a well-oiled machine. So gotta make sure you start breaking out some of those key things. It's grand finals. There is no more saving anything for any reason at all. And then that final key for FaZe is just continue to dominance, man. It's not like they need to do anything different. They just gotta play their game. Out of the entire league, only five players even have a positive KD against FaZe, and two of them are on Paris. Like, they have just dominated the league through and through. They have been completely unreal. And maybe an important thing for FaZe is because they're coming through the winner's bracket, well, they get to handle the pick and bans. They get their auto veto of Miami. They don't have to deal with it. That's a good one for them. They don't want to play the checkmate control. They get that out of the way, and then they can look across the board and say, you know what, checkmate hard point against Dallas. No thank you. That is the, the advantage, if any, phase has, but there's your maps. Miles, that is a gauntlet, a marathon, a, a day and a half worth of Call of Duty. And we got to do all of it right now. We hope you're very comfortable, friends, as the players quite literally get warmed up. This is going to be one hell of a finals. Atlanta phase, Dallas Empire. Last time we saw them play each other way back to, what, stage one finals? And it was not pretty for Dallas back then. We saw the players of phase really styling on them, but that was a long time ago. Different roster and was not on land. Here in the bright lights, the Esports Arena in Arlington, Texas, this is bound to be an absolute show. The online era of COD coming to a close. What an explosive way to get it done. Those players on stage now waiting. Looking forward to writing history once more again today. Atlanta phase, another notch on the belt for Dallas Empire. The first taste of glory this season. Since winning that World Championships in 2020. And they get it done. We're almost ready to go, friends. This is going to be a banger. There is no doubt about it. Garrison Hardpoint coming up first. We've done the intros. We hope you enjoyed them. Krim may be reaching final form, friends. Can Vivid keep the run going? The hottest hands right now in the building as they get ready to go up against the might of Atlanta phase. Chance, let's get into this. All right, off for the Garrison and Miles. Something that just occurred to me, right? We talked about SMG duos, the only teams that have had any success against FaZe. It is like Toronto in New York. It's a short list. The only other time that they have gotten beaten is when they've lost both of the searches. It was against LAG back in the day, and it was a shocker of a series when it happened. And it just occurred to me, Vivid was on that team. So he has tasted success against FaZe as well. Dallas, they might have the pieces, but obviously a long way to go. Garrison, Hardpoint, we know a favorite in a strong map right now for both of these teams. Well, we'll see how favorite it gets for one of them. So right off to the start we go. Nades are up and about, seeing explosives, no trophies to be found here, friends. And in this best of nine, this first hard point, it's first to 250 seconds in the hard point. Dallas, for the opening time, it will move once every minute. 
to a predisposed location on the map. Those players know these spots and they'll be making the run for it. But there you go. Atlanta Phase making a case for that first hard point, cleaning out the middle of the map. They've only got shots he left to deal with. He's trying to fight the fight from inside the hard point. Vivid and Illy now trying to make their way forward as well. And it is a bloodbath. Phase cleaning house right now. Oh, bloodbath indeed, and that is a very quick response. A couple players for Dallas spawned out, got behind enemy lines, but they got dealt with immediately. This time, Vivid, though, better trigger discipline. On the minimap, it looked like he waited for the gunfights to come through, so he might have an opportunity, potentially be a, a bit of a hero for Dallas as he finds his second. Unfortunately, though, the rest of FaZe was there to gun him down. And maybe the pressure as we're rotating over to new. Well, the next opportunity for the big play is Shotzi. Gets behind the radar truck, but look at those wide arrows looking on him down. And they use the nades to make it happen. That is a very strong rotation coming out of Atlanta phase. Very strong indeed. Here comes the break, though, for Dallas Empire. Crim's trying to get this party started. Illy looking to open up a few more lanes, and it's vivid on that flank. He does manage to find Sim. Now trying to get closer. Shotzi, our game fuel, featured player now on screen. He makes his way forward, doesn't manage to catch the sleeping Celium just next to him. He lays prone there in the dark, will find that kill. And with that, Atlanta phase, another 30 seconds arguably going their way. Second shot now, another bite of the cherry for Dallas Empire as they try to get back onto this point. Stay on board with Shotzi. Eyes are on, first kill going his way. Nice shots in whilst he's not enough to get the kill, but the trades are there. Vivid will be it, and he's going to land so a few more before going down. Nice bit of a push, but once again, phase too strong. Oh, FaZe, you know, some people might have been concerned about their guns not being hot right off the break just because they didn't have the matches before. Doesn't really seem to be a problem. They have done everything perfectly so far. Very strong P2 hold, and they get that nice and easy early rotation. The AR players for the team able to find a couple picks as well, so Ibizi, he is free and clear inside of this hard point. The only pressure right now is going to be Vivid, waiting for his teammates. Dallas Empire, they're going for the surge. They are sending two through dark, one through tools. Ibizi, the pressure is on. And pressure's on. Here comes the contest. Sit from behind, keeping the kills flowing. Four and five overall. Woo, what a wall bang that was. No one's escaping from Simp right now. Illy takes an early shower, and that's going to be a nice push once again. Dallas, though, still fighting alive here. Three players have made it in the back. That's going to make the spawns interesting. Atlanta Face spawning out a little. Illy finding another one. Krim getting involved as well. Hard point, Dallas. We've got 25 seconds left on this, and Simp's on the other side of the fence. Here comes the play. Shots are up already, and again, Simp looking to make the entry. RC's backing him up now, and here comes the entry sub we are talking about earlier. Beasy trying to get involved as well at the back, and that's a nice bit of work. And looking towards rotations already, Chance in Atlanta phase. It is clean, and it is very calm so far. Oh, it's definitely good looks by Dallas just to be able to break through on that previous hill. The problem is they've just been consistently out-rotated, and they've been playing from the back foot the entire game so far. Obviously, a close one that we have, but this is not fun to constantly take these difficult gunfights. And, well, a couple players trying to sneak out through dark, sneak out through caution. Selim's there to potentially Ooh. deal with a couple, but he gets taken down. And what a big win from Crim6. Selim was potentially starting to think about those score streaks. And, actually, speaking of the score streaks, Crim is on a five. In a power position as well, a couple shots and a one, looking for a BZ, and this might be the kill to potentially put him over the edge. And at the very least, his team is inside the hard point of BZ. He knows what the situation is. He's feeling that pressure. He can't throw his life away. Try not to, indeed. And here we go. Crim's trying to get these streaks. Dallas hard, hard point for the time being. It'd be great now to go for a quick Astro Gaming listen in with the home series host, Dallas Empire. Yo, yo, we go. We go. Nice, we, go. we got your help. I'm looking top green. Push, 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 push. Pocket, pocket, pocket. I went floating. Pocket back in up. Pocket. No one's under, 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 Yes, no, there's no breaks. Number six. Number six. Weak in the corner. Weak in the corner. He showed a car still. Put breaks out. Yo, Akon, Con, Con. He's still there holding. Still got green. Yeah, he's checking the guy. Back, back up for now, Sal. One guy's top green. One square, one square. One square, one square. Top green, I hear him. Hey, Chanks, no. No, I'm trying to hold, hold, hold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Victor, 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 Victor. Sam, 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 Yo, Sam, 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 in top green. Yeah, he's outside breaks. I'm, him. I'm not peeking either. I'm playing breaks with you. I'm playing breaks with you guys. Probably jumping in the con. The breaks, breaks, a BZ hurt left corner. Go, go, yeah, con. He's there. Set, 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 Alex out. Con, a BZ hurt. He's still there, still there. Close, close, close up, down. close up corner. There's two top flat, top flat, no one green. Top flat, no green. Top flat, no green. green. Top flat. 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 Top flat.
Alex, 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 Johnson is multi kill after multi kill for Dallas Empire, and the comms sounding pretty fresh, mate. Can't complain too much as they do currently have that lead. I mean, I think the comms actually taught us quite a bit about phase, right? You just heard them constantly on that P5 hill being like, there's some guy green, there's still a guy green. That lasted for 30 seconds. That guy was Simp. And like a BZ, when he's running an SMG, is just in your face taking the gunfights. Simp just like kind of sits back, reads the situation, and just gets to mani man manipulate the map <laughs> however he wants. Uh, and it's just interesting to look at like, or even hear how difficult it can be to play against FaZe. But to their credit, Crim6 is playing out of his mind. We're seeing Shotzi getting pieces left and right. And right now, as it stands, this P2 rotation, Crim6 trying to trap these players in. Finds a kill Arches. His team's going to get the spawn, and now they're trying to set up the play. Illy's going to try to get set up in top green, and they need to time out this pinch together. It goes Sim from up high. Oh, Crim cuts him down with the AK-74. You up close. He even gets a second kill there. That's ridiculous. Abizi's doing what he can to lock down spawns for next. He's playing real sneaky. Illy will be on the hunt here, as the hard point will be Dallas is uncontested for a few more moments. But this gunfight, if this goes the way of Abizi, which it does, that's going to be spawns for next all sweet. Decent time going for Dallas Empire, but here we go. Crim's going to be the next one in. Can he keep the spree going? Asti's here to back him up, and he is a very, very sneaky Crim right now. I'd love to see if Beezy's going to catch anything, but he won't. Crim might get the kill here. This could be big. Biding his time. Great trigger discipline. And here he goes. Still alive. Crim 6. Keeping the boys going, and here come Dallas. They've managed to break the back, and with that, you're going to see the hard point go their way as well. Beautiful stuff. Oh my god, the 2000 IQ plays on Crim. Like he just said, anything a BZ can do, I can do better. You had a BZ, sit in the back of the map, find the kill to lock down the rotation, and then wait for his teammates to come help him out. Crim6 does the exact same thing. Crim also, by the way, what, sliding in the hills with an AK 74U challenge? Crim is literally Mr. Do It All. Even as a minute inside of the hard point, the GOAT for a reason and Empire has started to run away hey. with this game. A 70 point lead, and Shotzi guns hot as we expect it time and time again, looking for streaks in the streaks he may not need. What a performance the Empire brought out so far in game number one. And these boys are shooting good so far. We're gonna see that rotation come to just a close as the player is now making their way across, and it is our game fuel. Featured player Shotzi on that six three right now. You better make it a seven, that's gonna be streaks. One more kill, and he'll net himself the cruise missile, and oh, just about crossfire there from Atlanta phase will bring him down, and just in the right time, because here we go. Dallas with the hard point, looking to close this map out right here, right now. 20 points for the win. Asties from up high. Shots are in, the damage is done. A great step, ooh, nade, I thought it was a stick for a brief moment there, the contest, and Shotzi once again in the point chance, dealing the damage. Can Illy get on the point, get any closer? No, phase will have the hard point for the next 30 seconds. And there's a couple solo childs from Dallas Empire getting uh, throwing a couple lives away. They got to slow the pace down, sort of try to regroup uh, and make sure they have a nice little push here. If they start falling once again, start spawning out, phase, they definitely have a comeback on their minds. A couple wall banks coming through, though. Simp, we'll see you later. He's done and out. But it looks like FaZe have done enough at least to force that next set of rotations in Italy. The style points for the ladder slide to move his way down. Certainly putting in some work, but either way, still have the, the map contained just a little bit. Empire, well, they'll, they're going to get the split spawns right now for FaZe. Tough spot to be in. You're going to be shot from every direction. Oh, they are. Look, Asti's, though, dealing with it. Beautiful awareness as now it's a push from one front. Jotzi making his way forward, just teasing these players. Asti's close by. Shotzi can get eyes on. Oh, boy. Arsys does manage to get the kill, and a second, that is huge stuff. Again, as we still see the hard point now being contested over, but it's Dallas with the control. Now panic mode for FaZe, they have to get on that point and stop the play, and they do. Nine seconds though for the win, as you see it. Dallas getting closer and closer chance. There's 25 left on this hard point. Dallas don't need a lot, Shotzi's looking to get it done, can't quite find the kills. Map presence though, going the way of Empire, they're set up for the rotation, and this could well be it. If they maintain control, when that next one pops in just about 10 seconds, it's all theirs. 
And that fight is huge. He does get taken out of top green, though. But either way, Dallas Empire have that in control. And Shotzi going on a flank. He's going to buy them an extra couple seconds on this hill. And they find all the kills as Illy gets a two-piece. Abizi, the last one alive inside the point. He gets dealt with. Empire setting the tone here in game number one. Get the job done and take phase down in the game ones. They still have the hot hand and they have the hype. What a hell of a way to kick off the Grand Finals. And that ain't a bad start whatsoever for Dallas Empire. They hadn't phased their first hard point loss of the stage. What a way to do it in that Grand Final. Hot hands indeed. Brilliant, brilliant work out of Empire early on to take the game to phase. And on a brilliant job. I'm shocked. I'm stunned. I'm excited. I mean, what does this say for the rest of the series? FaZe has still got a bit of warming up to do. There's always that question. The player or the team who've been waiting in that grand final have had to watch those other series play out. And of course, Dallas Empire, they do come out with a couple of big wins. Here we go, though. How long can they keep that hot hand going, Chance? That one's in the books. Dallas have got to be feeling good. Well, they got the hand warmers just to, to keep things steady for the next map. But I got to say, that sequence from Crim6, by the way, probably one of my favorite from him the entire year. Like, he had a, a couple sprees early on, but to help break that P2, he was the guy that was, like, sliding in and popped a two-piece with the 74U. Like, he is the entry sub for the team. <laughs> and then he goes on that rotation. We're thinking of BZ's making a big play, helping his teammates get in position. Crim6 pulls off the exact same thing, finds a corner, times the gunfights perfectly. And that is just a, a P2, P3 rotation where Crim6 just effectively takes over. And that is where they started running away with the game. That is the kind of big brain plays they are going to need. And that's the kind of big brain play that Crim6 used to making throughout his career. But if I'm looking at the stats, I think the thing that stands out most to me is how well Illy performed. The guy that has the biggest target on his back on this team comes out game number one, drops 4,700 damage leading his team. It's a hell of a way to start the game. I think this has gone a, a very different way than a lot of the fans and pundits thought. They really saw this being a phase five over. There you go, friends. Dallas Empire have shocked us all, taking that first map. Well, there we go. We're going to throw to a very, very quick commercial break, friends. But do not worry. This grand final is far from over. When we come back, plenty more Call of Duty action here. Don't go anywhere. Call of Duty League is brought to you by Mountain Dew Game Fuel. Pre-order the new Courageous Sherbet flavor now on GameFuel.com while supplies last. Tournament audio and team listen-ins are powered by Astro Gaming, the official headset and mix amp of the Call of Duty League. Standoff, Search and Destroy will be the next map we play here in this Grand Finals. And as you can see so far, looking at the Search and Destroy ranks coming into this event, actually coming into this day, it is a lovely look. The boys of Atlanta face chance definitely way up there, albeit RST Sinner 29. And honestly, going against Dallas has padded their stats a little bit too. Uh, I think Sim Selling and Abizi, almost across the board, all have like a 1.35 or higher. Uh, they have had their number in this matchup. And well, on the flip side, Krim has been doing okay. It's a bit of a struggle the farther you go down. But I think even more importantly, it is just looking at the specific maps that we are going to be playing against, right? You said it was a standoff for the map number two. We know for standoff, we've seen Shanti already putting together some wild things on this map. We know Krim 6 
six. This was his home for an entire year. And of course the coach Rambo Ray, you know that he knows this map better than anyone in the book. So as far as the SD battle goes, FaZe might have had the edge, but this is certainly a map for Dallas that they're going to be very happy to see, especially when they already had that one OB. Also, don't forget that we saw Atlanta FaZe really struggle against Toronto Ultra uh, previously on this matchup in the winner's bracket final. Very exciting series. If you did miss that one, friends, when this is all said and done, go back, check that one out. Beautiful masterclass from both teams that gonna play these Call of Duty League maps. But here we go, into map number two. And this search and destroy is going to be an important one. A potential steal here for Dallas Empire to give himself a nice little 2-0 cushion. Got to go the whole way. All the brains and all the stats on their side. Maybe, sorry, not stats. We saw those pages. It was awful. Atlanta phase statistically should be absolutely slaughtering them on this one. But I don't know, man. Current form and recency bias is telling me that Dallas have got a swing and chance here. But let's see how it goes, mate. Dallas on offense. Oh, and you talk about an important battle already, right? We've seen Vivid time and time again. Sometimes he'll play an off angle. Occasionally he'll think about pushing the flank, and we know Abizi, also a man that is very happy to be aggressive on flanks, but that is definitely a side battle. You're just going to have to pay attention to the minimap. It is a map spread for both of these teams, and obviously with no trophies out yet, nades can be a factor, and yeah, Vivid, as soon as he takes a step up, Abizi gets the information. Rims. A little afraid, as he should be, of those shots overhead. Here come the nades, and Abizi, though, on the flank, looking for that typical first blood of him, is the opening. Oh, and you see the movement, well played by Vivid. Dips out, Ian Shotzi with that bomb in hand, just trying to bait the play. Not able to get too much information out of that one there. They are going to move around. Opening now for the B play. Abizi still inside Delhi, real close. Vivid's going to have to cover Shotzi here. There's the play, and that's the kill. Abizi, first blood goes his way. Selium about to make it the second. Beautiful strike now from FaZe. Oh, the third comes through as well. Crim6 now left all alone, and Arstis is going to get it done through the fence. Simps here to back him up. This should be the round to FaZe, and it is. Great start from Atlanta. And that was an incredibly interesting idea from Dallas, right? Abizi is forced to stare out this back door because Selim can only watch the hop-up wall. He knows that there was two players in that back alley because he was getting the information. So while he's staring at the back door, there is a brief moment where Selim sees that player cross over to bomb. Abizi pokes his head out and just annihilates him before he can get traded. So Dallas, that was almost the, the perfect setup to try to get that bomb down, but Abizi just kills too quick. Two kills to start that round, and that is a, a solid defensive win. I think we are getting pretty close to, to trophies coming online, but I don't know if they're quite here yet. But FaZe, nice and aggressive in Dallas. They're going to meet them. Hey, they're going to try to... Well, there's the trophies just in the nick of time. Saves the day, but will they stop the shots? And here comes the push from High. Selium. Nice shots in. Illy's going to be in trouble now. Does manage to cross over. Oh, what a kill from Illy. Manages to pull that one out of the jaws of defeat. And with that, you've still got a bit of a fight now. Shotzi making his way forward. And this could get very interesting indeed. Asti's up high. Nice angle from Vivid down lane. And Shotzi will fry up Main Street. A simp gets him from behind. And chance this is back and forth. But after the dust has settled, it's now a 2v1. And Vivid, he is in a spot of bother. On will be planted over by B. Selling him on coverage through mid-map. That's the cheeky jump over the wall. That's a ton of information, Sim. Oh, boy. Vivid's in trouble here. This is not going to be an easy one. I like the movement. I like the reposition, but they've got eyes on him the whole way. And he just doesn't have an exit. Ah, yeah. Covering everything, finessing around the map. They had him trapped over towards A. And I don't know how many shoulders just got thrown by every player in the lobby, but that is just an absurdly difficult 1v2 to ever clutch. Faze doing things perfectly. And that is just a, a battle of information, right? If Shotzi can get to the tank without being spotted, maybe he's okay. Well, RCD sniffs him out. Eventually, Shotzi falls. RCD has to put himself in a bad situation to get the information. Vivid's there for the trades. Two incredibly close rounds, but Faze come out on top of both. Selling three kills to his name. And, well, th this ever-present battle is going to continue. Abizi just showing presence just for a moment. But he's forced to back down. Is this bomb working over towards the A site? But it is just honestly too strong of a defensive setup. I don't know if FaZe are ever going to get baited out on rotation. You're just going to have to pick a place and take the gunfights, and Dallas are choosing A. Here comes Shotzi, though. Oh, great covering fire from Osties makes it an easy kill. David now is in trouble. His partner's dropped in front of him, and he's going to be the entry sub, doing this all alone. Little bit of coverage from the back. Illy from up high. Oh, my God. Osties finds his second of the round. Put to bed by Krim, though. And here comes the aggression. Sim sliding out. Doing his best shot, see. Sell him though, sell him. Oh, Krim with the trade. And now it's a 2v1. Abizi's about to get involved, but Krim, can he stay alive? No, the damage already dealt in Atlanta phase. The defense holds. That's three rounds in a row. 
it is just it, this is just super clean s d gameplay we're having just making sure to wait for each other you get the teammates for the health these wide challenges out towards the track they're tagging all these players up and it is just too clean of a situation one of the more difficult spots to stay alive for a long period of time is the spot that simp is playing stays alive the entire round just feeding that information to his teammates and again we even briefly touched on it in the hard points the man is just a facilitator on the map he might only have one kill, but he has been the backbone in quite a few of these round wins. As FaZe queued up, looking for their fourth in a row. And it looks like this might be the aggressive towards the middle of the map. Occasionally Dallas will try to meet them here. Maybe a shot here Vivil to get in the mix, but not going to be the case. A passive setup on defense. As RC is looking for some information, he has eyes on at least one. He spotted Krim. Oh, wow. Incredible timing. Krim with a slight advantage now. He's up, no trophies there. There's the tag, and there's the nade. Great throw from Krim. Beautiful kill to open up the round. 4v3 now, Atlanta phase on offense here. I've been stunned. A nice shot from Vivid. Beautiful headshot to close that kill out. And with that, advantage Dallas, 4v2. Bomb now making its way over towards a fast chance. Oh my, I mean, could be sweet here. Surge shots at range, Vivid. He doesn't lose it. Krim gets there to save the day. It's another good kill from Krim, and now it's all on to Selium. And a very handy round from Dallas. A beautiful bounce back and just in time as well. 3-1. Work out of Dallas. And it's an interesting way that this map is playing out as well, right? You are literally having like the, the Abizi versus Vivid battle on one of the, one end of the map on offense and defense. You have your Krim versus RCD's battle towards the middle of the map. You get your shots. He gets to go and deal with Simp over towards A. I mean, they are genuinely just matching gun for gun, player to player. Similar strategies from both teams, and they're just trying to take it to each other. Empire, once again, we've seen this quite a few times. Maybe, maybe the most interesting player on the map is Crim6 looking for a few. But Vivid is taking control. Oh. Bottom Brown is just so many angles, so many long lines of sight. But all this just for information. It is the exact same defensive setup. I don't expect FaZe to really ever switch anything up. Nah. I wonder if uh, Vivid's running uh, some machine gun this round or an AR. That was really the difference maker in that last map. That last round against Abizi there. Oh, there we go. Vivid, yeah, Krig in hand. There's your answer. Catches Selim out. Abizi does manage to get Illy, though. Here comes the flurry of action. Sim, wow. Big shots down range there. Takes care of Vivid. 2v3. Atlanta phase with the advantage. Krim, can he catch Arsties once more? I'm going to be planted by shots here, though. Here comes the play. You can see the minimap. Atlanta phase now making that slow and steady wrap through that right hand side. Arsties is going to be watching this left flank. Big gunfight about to happen now. Shotzi taking on a BZ. Shoulders are being thrown. Shots exchanged. Who comes out on top? This is to keep the flank safe for the time being. Shotzi, beautiful movement. He's already upstairs. Oh, down we go. And these two are dicing with each other. Two of the finest movement players in the league. And who's going to come out on top? In the meanwhile, Krim's taking care of Asties. And here we go. Tiny Terrors charging forward. 15 seconds on the clock. Krim's going to try to stop him. But where is he? They've got no idea. Krim could find the play on both of them. There's the shots. Krim finds one. There it is. He should be able to get it. Krim six. What a round. One of the most godlike plays we have maybe seen all year. Shotzi like a ghost in the night. Playing with his food. You are in a 2v3. The main thing you need to do after you get bombed down is just buy time. And just look at how difficult he is to kill. Abizi doing everything he can. And even the play call, by the way, from the two players on face who just fly through and kill Crim6 after that, it is perfectly done. They knew what the deal was. Fly through and then you just got to run straight to bomb. But Shotzi also knew what the situation is. It already flown out of top market and just put himself in such a clean spot. That is improvis er, improvisational gameplay from Shotzi, the very best. And now Shotzi's getting tagged up, trying to stay alive as Trim6 again strikes with the first blood, but he does get traded out and that A-bomb side, wide out in the open. Oof, wide out in the open. Shotzi now still trying to keep this run alive. Three though, to his name. That bomb has made its way all the way over towards A. They should be able to get that one down. Here comes the plant from Sim. Coverage though, four Dallas Empire across the rest of the map. Should have those angles, and it's going to be Shotzi once again. This time up against Asties by the back of the shot. Heavy tags. He's not going to win that gunfight at that range. Asties too strong right now. Again, mid-map coverage all good. Dallas have got a lot of room to work with, but here we go. And Illy saw him as well. Right now, RCD is just trapped. He's going to have two players try to go for this pinch. And while well, Simp finds Illy, but Simp might get traded out. He does now, RCD. He is in a sandwich. He knows he's got to pick a direction. He's hoping he can just find this kill on Shotzi, but it's played 
too well, too clean in Shotzi again. That is just incredibly high IQ Call of Duty. On top of the fact that he's got that ridiculous skill, but again, just playing off the time, playing with his food and working the map. That is back-to-back -back rounds where Shotzi, I mean, he's genuinely putting in the work with the movement. That is basically how he's winning these rounds. He is just that good, but efficient work from both of the SMGs trapping these players in. And it's funny the way it worked out, right? He had one trap on Simp in between Vivid and Illy. Illy might fall, but Vivid there for the trades. They are timing out the right gunfights. That is three rounds in a row Empire has been able to get. And again, Shotzi may only be three and three, but some round-winning plays he has already provided. So that talk about being a facilitator. We said for Simp, the same can be said for Shotzi right now. A difficult kill on the map and an opportunistic player at times as well. Back to Old Faithful. Exchange of shots through the woodwork there, and RST's just keeping his lanes open, making sure he can not let those players cross over through that broken side of the brown building. That's really where they're trying to get towards, and it's the B-bomb site where they will be. Illy with top brown coverage. Here we go. He's about to jump into action. Try to find Celium. He saw him. Here comes a slight exchange. Oh, and Krim does make a beautiful read. Does take care of RST's first blood here. Oh, and another one goes down. It's a BZ. Now you've got Sim. Pressure now towards the A-bomb, but pressure it seems to be his middle name before Krim comes through and dissolves the situation with a couple of shots through fence once again. Celium 1v3, 1v2. This should go quietly, and there we have it. Dallas, another beautiful round for three. Hey, just doing it through the wall, man. Krim finding a couple of these picks. I mean, he burnt maybe half of his ammo in this round, just taking pop shots through the fences, looking for anything he can find, and he absolutely delivers. Two players fall in the exact same way, and, well, the jump helps Krim out, but he didn't need it. That is very much Krimbot activated. Get that X-ray vision going, click that superpower on, and, well, four rounds in a row. Now for the Empire. You got Vivid on a four spree. Krim making plays through the wall, and... Well, FaZe need to put something together here in this round, try to stop that bleeding. 0-2 on standoff so far. It has not been FaZe's strongest map. And Selim, though, able to open the map, find that first blood. And once again, that A bomb site uh, effectively left open a little bit, but now Shotzi, the player, you need to Whoa! find this man. He goes on the flank, picks up two towards the middle of the map. And like a ghost of night, he's out. Illy throws his life away just to keep Shotzi alive. And I'll tell you, that is an exchange that I think Dallas Empire should absolutely take. Rasties ain't afraid no ghost though. He took the gunfight straight away, man. He was looking to get it. Shotzi though, once again, gonna find number three of the round. And I realize I um, I screamed the wrong name. Krim's doing fine, but he ain't no Shotzi. Sim though, heavily tagged up. Here comes the pressure though from Dallas, trying to get him. Shotzi, can't quite help out Krim in this situation. Sim's gonna get it. He needs to move forward once again. 1v2. Oh, City's at range, man. Just melts him. Simp was there for the trade as well. FaZe play it beautifully, and now it's 4-4. Oh, mate, standoff is getting a bit spicy. And that, dude, that is such an aggressive play call. Yeah, in the smallest openings in the world, the shots he's able to find and go on these flanks. But RC's clutched up, man. The, the, the big old tank towards the end, the safety <laughs> net, that main AR, able to find a couple kills. Towards the end of that round, they got the bounce back round that they needed. Shout out to Selium getting that first blood as well, just to open things up. And FaZe, this is the first time they've shown a different offensive look. Abizi has tried to flank so many times, and he has never been given an opening. This time, though, he's trying to take Simp with him and see if they can make something happen. But Dallas, they do not play any games. They had three players to deal with the flank, so the idea gets shut down. No openings given. And I'd say for Dallas Empire, they picked the perfect round to make sure that they had the extra man there ready for the fight. As Krim still Ooh, looking for the dude. first blood, and he finds it. He's good old faithful, Krim. You can always count on him to find those kills. But talk about target prioritization right now. Oh. Dallas, oh my god, looking to find those kills. Abizi found the opening. He's through, he's through, but Illy's still on the flank. They're so aware of the play from Abizi. I wonder if Krim is, though. He's still got to watch mid-street. And still, the hunting team is out for Dallas Empire, but they've slipped through, and Abizi! Oh my word, he finds two of them! And now Simp through mid map's gonna cut down another, and just like that, Vivid, in a 1v3, he's got his work cut out for him, but my, my, the hit fire. This could be that little bit more interesting as Vivid. Big shots. Simp's gonna now make the play, Selly and planted up by the bomb. He shouldn't let anything crazy happen, and that is that. FaZe, 
Try, try, try again. They let Abizi get through, and that's why you have to deal with him. He gets in, he gets a two-piece. The damage is already done, and the round may as well have been over then. And it's like playing against, like, I don't even know, like a river or something like that, like a force of nature. He is constantly applying that pressure, always trying to find that opportunity on the flank. And he's been trying for how many rounds? Like five rounds when they've been uh, on defense looking for the opening. And they let it open for maybe five seconds total. And that is exactly where Abizi finds that pressure. That is uh, unbelievable timing he is able to create. Ooh. Through the middle of the map, though, Krim, who's been on point with the first bloods, gets damage into three and takes one down. Faze might be one round away from a win, but they are down a man as well. And, and obviously, it is not looking like it's a lot of fun to try to work towards A. Abizi, uh, I mean, he's looking for anything he can find, but that bomb swiftly being wrapped out. Yep. He's gone. Grim now from up high. He didn't see anything there, but the rest of the defenders there, that's going to be vivid and shots. See the submachine gun staying close to that A bomb site, playing the square here. Oh, and those shoulders being thrown up easy still. We are waiting for something to happen here, friends. And there's vivid. He's got the shots in. Oh, wow, and he catches it. Shotsy though with the immediate trade. Nice kill. Sim, wow, over the top. Takes care of Shotsy. No one gets away alive. And now it's a 2v1. This could be it. Illy's got to go big. Not a lot of utility to work with. It's going to be a good old-fashioned gunfight. And Arcetes gets two shots in before even hitting the ground. 25 seconds left on the clock. Illy, though, has he made the play here? Last check. Thumbs through. It's going to land nothing there. And they've got the bomb down. They're set up. Illy has to go huge here, Chance. This is to force the round 11. And the timing is absurd. He has pulled phase on the defense. Left, right, back, forth, center, up, down. You name it. It's a cheat code right now. Will he be able to deliver the goods, though? There's the first shots. Doesn't catch the player on transition. Here's Simp. Slides through. Finds one. Illy's still good to go. Simp's now going to make it a real fight. It's a good old faction 1v1. And Simp through the tractor. It's honest work, but someone's got to do it. And he does land the kill. And just like that, we're all tied up. A map that I did not think FaZe would be as strong on. But they have certainly done their homework. And woohoo! We go, mate. Tied up 1-1 here in the grand finals. And shout out to Abiz, man. Always finding those plays, those final two rounds. One, it's the flank where he turns it into a two-piece, lightened up, and the same thing towards the end. He is dealing with Shotzi in Vivid over towards A. You're behind a tractor. You're in a box. It is tough positions to get these players out of, but he catches Vivid just with the bullet. Abiz plays it perfectly. And in spite of the first blood, that is a 3v4 for FaZe and a victory on standoff. A hell of a bounce back map. And honestly, every single round, I don't even know how many mistakes are really being made. Maybe a couple of picks here and there, but it is just constantly on one team or the other, someone making that big play. But you look at your stats, and again, it's really just clean across the board. Maybe a big game from Krim and Illy, maybe slacking off just a little bit. But either way, just a solid performance out of both teams. Phase though, come out on top. They do come out on top. You see the scores there. And again, looking at Krim's individual performance, beautiful stuff from him. Shotzi, the hero for Dallas. Not enough to get it done, though. And Atlanta Phase, a beautiful effort across the board. Everyone doing wonderful work. There we go, though. Tied up 1-1 here in the series in this grand finals. And Exciting way to get it done. Now, though, for our U.S. Army tactical play, going to do something a little different. Truly one of the most brilliant rounds of the game, round five. We're going to give this one to Shotzi of Dallas Empire. They may not have won the map, but they certainly won our hearts with this play chance. This is our tactical play. And if I remember correctly, is this the one where they just start playing with their food over towards A after they get the bomb down? As it stands now, this is yeah. the, the 2v3 setup, right? They're going to go plant to A. And the important thing here is how efficiently that they end up playing for time. It is simp and busy going on that full flank. And if they're like throwing trophies down over by market, I think that like the tiny tears know they have to go and clear all of this out. But there's what, maybe 30 seconds on the clock once those first engagements really start, or maybe 34. That is when Shotzi starts shooting at Ibiza and he buys so much time. Like Krim doesn't have any pressure. He's got one direction to look just because Shotzi is taking care of the other two. Krim wins the big one-on-one -on, -one on the flip side. And again, you just talk about time wasted. It is 15 seconds that Shotzi just bought for Krim to find that first kill and by the time they get it he's already flown out he, he slides out of the top market repositions over to the fountain and because they had no time you have to sprint over to that bomb site try to defuse and well Shotzi plays them like a fiddle it wasn't good enough in the end but you can see that's the kind of round it takes to deal with face yeah it was a beautiful round by Shotzi not Crim six miles but there we go pals we're gonna throw it to a very quick commercial break upon our return we're playing more Call of Duty Garrison Control coming up after this you can
could try, you can't stop it. OC dub, way, way up like a rocket. Acting up, acting that way out of pocket. For the grind, for the hustle, I can't knock it. Do what it take, do what you do, you could try. Yeah. I've been up, I've been stuck up in the sky. Yeah. Lonely at the top, I can't lie. Haters watch it, throw the piece, tell them bye, 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 bye. I got things to do, I got fans to get. Competition up in smoke, ooh, cannabis. Ask me why I'm a top 10 candidate. I'm so fly, I'm so clean, ooh, and I'm rich. They can't stop it, they can't stop the kids. They can't stop it, they can't stop the kids. Check the score, but I'm running up stats. Numbers don't lie, that's facts. They can't stop it, they can't stop the kids. They can't stop it, they can't stop the kids. Check the numbers, I'm running it up. I got plenty bands, I'm thumbing it, yeah, yeah. Tell them move. Get up out the way. It's through the Chris, yeah, how much I'm getting paid. Two, four, five, seven, eight, ten K. No mob ties for the player being made. Now, how you spoke to your girl, better check her phone. And do you know what she doing when you not at home? And when she tell you she alone, but she not alone. She got a lot of options, any money more. She gon' do what she want, ain't no stopping it all. Hold a liquor in the cup, yeah, I'm topping it all. I might take your girl, take a trip to the mall. Call of Duty League is presented by T-Mobile, now America's largest and fastest 5G network. Set your sights on the competition with T-Mobile, the leader in 5G. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Major 4 Final, presented by Game Fuel, and you know the deal at this point in time. If you aren't aware, the Call of Duty League, we send out beautiful, stunning emails before each major tournament. All of these, painstakingly handmade, with love, care, and filled with nothing but premium content, no spam whatsoever. So friends, jump on, scan that QR code on screen with your phone, and sign up today. When you do, you not only get started with informative and well-written content, you'll also get a free and exclusive Send It calling card added to your inventory in Black Ops Cold War, and Warzone. If you don't scan the QR code, head to callofdutyleague.com forward slash stay hyphen connected. Do it, please. Otherwise I have to shave the beard. Save my marriage, friends. Here we go though. Let's take a look at the garrison control coming up in just a moment. We're gonna have to look at the control ranks so far in the season and <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, right. What do you make of the numbers, Chance? I mean, you know, if I had to take a guess on who the best control team in the game was, potentially it's going to be FaZe, maybe if you see the other, no, literally, the best heart, like control team in the game. And the fact that they end up in winner's bracket, again, I know there's always the conversation about like the benefits of being the team in winners. One of the small ones is you get to ban the control map you don't want to play, which means these guys do not have to deal with checkmate. They get the garrison, they get the raid, and this is like their home. Simp, clear cut, best control player in the game, loves it on this map, loves to play on raid as well and uh, you gotta imagine controls do have a, a small elevated uh, level of importance compared to a normal series right you get the two in the mix out of the best of nine control a little bit more valuable and the same thing can be said for search and destroy honestly hard point takes a, a little bit of a hit but you had phase that won the first search you get them on a map where they have just a ridiculously good record on garrison 12 and 4 it is compared to dallas's 7 and 6. We already know what we can expect from FaZe on this map. The question is, can Dallas Empire go toe-to-toe? -to -toe? And frankly, I think if Crim6 continues to play the way he has, I mean, he's been entry sub at times, main AR at times, first blood reaper at times. He's had himself quite a series so far, but obviously for Empire, got to step it up here. Now that we're back to respawn. Yeah, back to the old respawn game modes we go. And for this one, we saw how great Dallas looked on hardpoint. Will they be able to translate same gameplay now to the control mode? Already we're seeing Vivid pick up those opening kills. Nice bit of work. Again, two zones here in Control Friends, A and B. They both have three segments to them. Segments are very important in determining who gets defense if we have to go to a final round. So look for these teams to pick up as many of those as possible. First segment almost done here at Zone B. Zone A still looking very secure. Vivid's trying to do something about that now. It's 
right hand side of the map. Nice kills, good trades, an all round beautiful workout of Atlanta phase. One player left to deal with here, and that is going to be Shotzi. How hard will he be to kill? The answer is very, but Selliams gets it done. Sim now pushing the front line forward, trying to keep Dallas in their spawn, right hand side of the map there. So far, so good. Atlanta finding those kills. All tied up though, 25 kills each. Lives, excuse me. Oh, and they're just putting on the pressure, though. He already got selling. You get him posted up potentially oh. inside a caution, and that is a clean four down, and you are on defense against Atlanta Phase. You are officially in the blender. You got to fight your way out of it. All angles covered. Abizi gets the first blood on this next set of fights, and, well, you try to trade him out. Good luck. Have fun. They take care of him, but even just trying to look at the map, looking for that opening, you just have nowhere to go, and you only got 30 seconds to fight your way out. That's got to go. Maybe they can't make it through mid. Crim's up next. Selim's going to cut him down. Beautiful defense. Defensive work. Illy does manage to find a bit of an opening, as does Shotzi. So now through middle they go, but it's him from behind. Oh, he springs the trap. He's six and one overall. He's on a three spree right now, and there is less than 15 seconds remaining. And the man is just cutting his way through Dallas Empire. Illy's up next. Final 10. He can't quite make it. The spree will come to a close, but here we go. Shotzi finally able to get on the point immediately. Got taken care of. And with that, clock will continue to flow in Atlanta phase. They will find that first round here in control. And that honestly, like, perfectly encapsulates the play style of Simp, right? He's like the Terminator. He just gets to sit in the back and analyze, read these situations. You get that clean four down. You get phase set up for the spawn traps. There is a moment where a couple openings get found. You think it might fall apart, and then Simp delivers with the best play just to immediately shut you down again. Reads everything perfectly and had a very strong round one, seven and two to his name. Again, he is the, the best control player for a reason. Dallas Empire, though, will be given defense, obviously, on Garrison a little bit easier to win those defensive rounds. Empire looking for the bounce back, and a strong opening break is going to be necessary. And Empire taking no prisoners, or prisoners to make sure they send two players up top green. Not trying to let any craziness happen at the start of the rounds. Yeah, we say this. We all say this here in the Call of Duty League. Defensive rounds, that little bit easier again. Then working his way forward. Nice shots. Dallas now getting cut to pieces. And one half of the Tiny Terror is doing what he can. Just over a minute remaining. Well, there you go. Pause right on it. And here we go. Phase on both points at the same time. More players on the points. They capture faster. Simp now trying to deal some damage. Vivid. Good cleanup there is. In with Krim. But still keeping that pressure on A for now. Oh, Selian finds one. Nice kill. Still dealing the damage. But good cleanup now by Dallas Empire. They will get those players off the points. Now, can they push Phase into their spawn? Less than 50 seconds remaining on this one chance. And if they can push them back, keep them there, we could see another round go to Dallas. Let's see what happens, though. As again, Abizi, I was going to say, keeps that mid-map safe for now. When you have Shotzi making plays, by the way, in the other SMG, Vivid, he's able to pick up too. Shotzi, he goes and flanks through Dark. He gets behind Caution. He picks up a couple kills that just stops that push. Brings it to a screeching halt. And even Vivid, he, he found his way behind enemy lines. This is just too many players being problematic in the base of phase. But they've dealt with a few of them. Vivid, the next one standing. And I've seen so many arrows turn to look to try to figure out where he's coming from. <laughs> he goes for the full wraparound, pines one. And by the time they take him down, everybody else falls. Abizi, the most aggressive player on the map. You got four seconds left. You got to dive bomb to the point and just do your best job of staying alive. He's got some reinforcements as his entire team effectively has started flooding out through caution. And his ARs are picking up a couple kills, maybe picking up all the kills. Oh Both of them God. deliver with two. The opening's there. Abizi gets left in the dust because they rotate to A. They're going to have three bodies on point. Huge transition now over towards A. They've got bodies all over it. They're going to be capturing this so fast. First segment gone. Viv is now going to get the quick contest. Cut down immediately. Illy, though, makes his way forward. Can't get any more done. And just like that, with 3.8 seconds on the clock, progress at A. They do manage to get the players off of B, so that's going to be safe for now. But the A zone's gone. And that has been a beautiful turn of events now for Atlanta phase all they have to do is hit B they've got themselves 15 lives to work with Dots he's on cleanup now but man that has been a beautiful turn I mean that was just such a quick play call as well just because of the fact that you know phase rotated that quickly I think Empire sent a 2-2 split to try to defend both uh -oh. points because if you defend both points there's only three seconds on the clock so Empire certainly put themselves in a, a bit of a tough spot. Just the fact that they had to defend this B point for quite some time. Phase of a small life lead and 30 seconds left. Simp looking to create the opening. Trying to charge his way through the middle of the map, but they don't have top green just yet. And obviously they don't have vents control either. 
The defensive setup fine so far as kills are getting traded on the map. Ooh, some nice shots at range there. 19.4 seconds left on the clock. They've managed to get them off of it, but Simps should be able to contest now. Still alive, still kicking. Here comes the push though from Dallas. Right through lights they go in the Simp. Trophy's down. Shots he's now going to be throwing the shoulders. One kills all they need to get him off that point. There's the crossfire. Simp finding another one. Four in a row. Illy though, onto the point he goes. Defense remains strong. Simp wins his. So does a BZ. And the play is still alive now as Atlanta phase looking to get more players onto the point. They get the kills as well. Unreal teamwork out of Atlanta phase. Second round goes their way as well. They only need one more. And shout out to the shot caller. I don't know who made that call from FaZe, but again, as soon as RCDs and Selene found those two kills each, you see that quad feed, everyone bolts for that wraparound. And this is the problem for Dallas, right? You're coming off spawn. You're expecting there to be some sort of a rotation over towards A, but you don't know how many players are going. You're still seeing progress on that other point. You know at least one player's there. They try to send two players to defend each point. You're hoping you win the fights to actually defend A, the more difficult point, and hoping you win the other. There's only Three seconds on the clock. Empire so close to making that snap decision and making things pan out, but the snap decision pays off for the, the team that has the guy that is 17 and 5 on their team, currently on a five spree. Right now, Sim just having a, another one of those games. Another one of those games for Sim. Shotzi, though, he will find that first blood. The rest of the team looking great as well. I mean, Asties, he's feet are up. He's enjoying himself right now, but we'll see if he can't. Pick up the numbers and join the rest of the crews in those dizzying heights. 18 and 5 now for Simp. Going to get full streaks. Six in a row at this point in time. Has an artillery to play with. With less than a minute remaining on this round now, you've got to get going, Dallas. You have to clear out this player in top green. You've got to take care of Simp. Get your bodies on those zones. And Vivid playing very sneaky. Sneaky goes both ways as these kills keep on th coming through. And there we go. Shotzi finally takes care of a couple. Now over towards the A zone we go as well. B gets all made safe. So now Shotzi and Co. looking to capture A, but not as many bodies on point as Atlanta had in the previous round. So this is going to take a little bit longer. Well, they've got two and might be able to get a third, but now the green flank might be open. And while you're losing the gunfights on the front as well, an unfortunate Ooh. teammate is going to buy Illy a little bit of time. And now it's just from the front, and they're able to win it. Whoever was trying to flank or no, Selim actually goes for spawn kills instead of flanking green. So now you get these two players out. I think for Simp right now, it might be the call, calling that artillery and trying to get him off of A, but at Dallas, they still only have one guy on point. Still got one guy on point, still slowly but surely capturing it. There it is, A secured. One more minute added to the clock. Vivid, top green control now, applying the pressure. Beautiful shots, a nice two-piece on the Selium as well. Here we go, Dallas, get themselves on to the B zone. A BZ though, he's gonna be there to slow down the play. Will be traded out. Nice bit of work once again as Dallas looking very aggressive here. They've got ample time, a decent amount of lives, 19 in total to work with, and Vivid. He's starting to build towards streaks of his own. Four now in a row for him. How long can they hold this for, though? Keeping an eye on that flank as well, and he's going to need it because coming in from right behind now, it's a BZ. He's fired his gun. He's going to find the kills, and oh, he nearly gets it. Still, though, chance. We've got players on B. We're slowly but surely capping it now for Dallas. How long can they keep it going? Well, now you got a BZ. Well, he was attempting to run a mug, but he actually gets caught by Shotzi. Couple players in the middle of the map. Sim finds the second, gets it done with the pistol, and Sim causing problems. Vivid looking for these kills. And you got to save it out, Empire. Ooh. They can afford to slow it down a little bit, but they need to kill this man every single time he spawns up. He goes on a spree. It takes the nade to shut him down, but he's still sitting on that artillery. He has it in the back pocket, and he even got Selium. Playing his uh -oh. corners, and that is going to be a clean three down. You are stuck in your spawn, Dallas Empire. Welcome back to the blunder. You got to fight your way out. This is going to be tough. They still have the streaks to work with as well. Dallas got to go big. Illy trying to find his way forward. Nice nade. Heads up play. Does tag Selium. Will this be the opportunity to move forward? Yes. Good bounce. Shotzi now making his way through dark. Here comes the pinch. One by one, the defenders being brought down, and Dallas making their way forward onto the point. They will just about get there, and Shotzi's hurt. 9 HP. He's got players now coming in off spawn, dealing with the damage from all around. Will he be able to keep this alive? No, he doesn't. Selian brings him down. Less than 20 now remaining on the clock. Abizi on the defense still. A beautiful nade, but you got to go for Dallas. Waiting for full strength before they make the push. Will they be able to get on the point and stop it? And Simp, he's playing for the slow flank. 11 seconds chance. Simp looking to make the play. Here he goes, up out of the vents, finds the first straight of the second. Simp's an absolute monster, and that play may well seal it. Unless we can see Krim get on the point and contest, and there it is, but Simp's still slaying. Three in a row, back towards the point you go. Still two members of Dallas on this one. Krim staying alive, still holding it. 
A beast is about to get the entry, and it's all onto Illy now. This is absurd. Last player left alive. He's gonna find that kill, and now it's a 1v1. And Contest comes through a BZ. He lands the kill! And with that, it's a 3-0 in control, and ho ho ho! It could not have been any closer in that final round. Unbelievable stuff, man, across the board. I mean, we're watching Sim making plays across the map every life, even towards the end. Double kill in vents, goes on the full flank, traps all these players in, but Empire at the same time making plays of their own. Push out the other side and you put yourselves and you do so many things right. You get a 1v1, but a busy Johnny on the spot takes care of business and simp again just another feather in his cap a, a normal day at the office especially when it comes to control for him just dominating time and time again every single life that he had throughout the entire game he always got maximum value out of it Simp playing like a wizard, and of course, as well, his teammates had some phenomenal performances as well. I mean, BZ, even when he's just buying his ARs time to, to find the double kills left and right. Whatever it's going to be, that is Garrison Control, a map phase that loved to play all year long. And, well, we just get to see another example as the wise. They go up 2-1 in the series. Nice little bounce back they've had now that they've gotten the guns a little bit hot. Yeah, the guns are starting to warm up and they are still smoking as we go now into our next map. A quick look at the stats there, Chance. Anything crazy that stands out to you in the garrison here? It was a wild one. All things considered, plays around every corner. Uh, no, nothing crazy at all. Simp 27 11, 4400 damage, leading the lobby <laughs> in pretty much every category. Not a surprise in the slightest. That is the scoreboard we can almost <laughs> expect at the end of the game. Another day in the office for Atlanta Phase. Well, that's that, friends. We've got a 2 1 lead in the series so far for Atlanta Phase. We will throw you to a quick commercial break, and upon our return, it's a double dose of Moscow. We're playing Hardpoint after this break. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Major Four Finals presented by Game Fuel. We've got another hard point coming up next. We're going to Moscow for this one. Or oh, we may be in the beautiful Arlington, Texas now for our matchup. Having a look now at Shotzi, our Game Fuel featured player chance here in this Grand Finals, a player we're going to be keeping an eye on so far. 45 to 47 KD overall. What do you make of the young phenom, mate? He's still, he's still good with it. He had a fantastic map one in the hard points, but now we're going to Moscow. I mean, he had a fantastic map one. He had a ton of big plays on map two as well. And there was a couple uh, attempts on the garrison control. It is just a force that he is going up against. Nearly two minutes in the hill as well. Uh, he's going to certainly need some more of that because we are at the official gauntlet portion of, of the series. If you're in the Dallas Empire camp, you got double Moscow back to back against FaZe. I mean, whose record on these next two maps is completely ridiculous. They have never lost a Moscow SMB. They've only lost a Moscow Hardpoint once the entire year. It's like 10-0 and 10-1 and and on these next two maps. They're the best team in the game on this map. Potentially for FaZe, they're about to show off why. Empire, they have their work cut out for them. 
This is a moment where I'm thinking like, if I'm Rambo Ray, what is like the strategy? What adjustments are we gonna be attempting to make on this map? Uh, I know something Toronto Ultra pulled out of the bag when they try to take down phase on this map, is just try to flood through the front on that P3, right? If you got players that are playing over towards bank, trying to watch these like full wrap rounds, the guy that tries to break spawn, Toronto Ultra said, hey, we'll just run through the front, just four hit it, make something happen. I don't know if Dallas Empire are going to try to replicate some of that magic, but magic is certainly what they are going to need for these next two maps. Already down one in the series. If you got that double Moscow going the other way, I mean, you know, going down 4-1, that is just a tragedy in a half. Empire need to find a way to take phase down on their best map. We'll find out if this is cruise control now for Atlanta phase. Towards the center of the map we go, and it's going to be an early contest there. We're seeing Shotzi, once again, our Game Fuel featured player, now trying to bring that submachine gun up close versus Simp. Does manage to net the first kill, and that's a nice bit of work again from the squad. The hard point now ticking in favor of Dallas. However, the spawns for that second one, right-hand side of the map, that's exactly where Dallas want to be playing for. They don't spawn on the preferred side, so for now, it's going to be gunfight after gunfight, trying to fight their way through and phase. Well, they clean house. Krim's going to be the last player up, and they're going to now try to push their way through the front once again. Krim... It's going to be number four on that mini-map. Trying to make his way forward. Sim's going to slow him down, though. And the battle still raging on the hard point. Oh, busy though. He wins a big gunfight over towards goal. But where he wins a big one, Shotzi delivers on the actual hard point. FaZe, though, they have contained the spawns. They got all their bases covered. He got Sim pushed up over towards Eskies. And he knows his only job is to stay alive. Rotate back and help your teammates out. But that is a nice gunfight win from Illy. RC should still be able to spawn up in like back police to help his teammates out. He does so, but there is a ton of pressure coming street side and a BZ gets dealt with. So you got two players coming through street side, two coming through mid. Dallas Empire, you need to have a clean break. Here we go, trying to make that clean break. Shotzi, nice work, finding one player on the outside. Vivid, oh wow, he and Illy find two more in the middle. And Selium's done, that's a clean Perfect. sweep. They've got it done. Beautiful work, Dallas Empire, hard point theirs. And now to Krim, who's dealing with the attackers coming through mid. One by one they go, looking a bit like Ultra out there. As Selium's up next, Krim puts them all to bed. Nice work, Dallas holding the line. Still 30 seconds to be had on this point, chance it's all theirs. And they're going to be able to collect all this time. This is actually a very important moment because instead of like needing to four hit the front or do something weird, you get plenty of time to work with to actually rotate around the map. Crim6 does get caught though. Sim's able to find him and you see the rotation street. You got a couple players dealing with it. Sim's going to time out this flank and see if he can make it go his way. But it looks like none of these players wanting to even take these gunfights just so to make sure they can spawn up. And Ibiza plays it perfectly. Yes, he ends up falling, but he spawns up right back at new. It's going to be somewhat of a tight setup as Simp gets to play the late flank. Simp, he's going to be the guy that's trying to be the hero for the team. Late flank, perfect timing. He's about to hit it. Arstis is going to back on up. Oh, Simp loses the gunfight at the back, though. He does manage to be taken care of. Now there's an opportunity to go forward. Shots, he can't quite get it all done. Arstis wins a big one there against Krim. And still, though, in the back line, it's going to be Illy. Close ranged attack now from Dallas Empire as Illy does win it. Still, though, to the hard point, we turn our attention. Simp versus Illy now. As the gunfight's raging. Shotzi now making his way forward. Simp, nice angles to be had. And oh, Illy's just run a circle around Simp. And he's still going. Illy's had a huge play here. Three kills to his name. Hard point still going the way of Dallas. What a run. Oh my god, the pressure was too clean, man. Even they made the read on Simp, who I thought was going to have the perfect flank, but they stayed hyper aware. That means the communication for Dallas Empire right now was going to be on point. And as it stands, that's about as good as you could possibly expect a, of a lead to have against FaZe right now. Two clean hills back to back where they find the breaks. They are finding the kills as well, and Shotzi, a big reason why. Nine to his name, but we move over towards the street. Abizi's finding two on the flank, and Abizi's buying time to make sure the third falls as well. Shotzi, he's forced to try to hunt his players down as, well, FaZe may be dealing with some split spawns, but so far, so good. They are finding all of these kills. Finally find all those kills. They have to work hard for it, though. Well, let's have a, a brief moment of reprieve now while they hold the hard point, and we'll go for a quick Astro Gaming listen in with Atlanta FaZe. Are you blogging? Oh, yeah, I'm half on now. I'm bang now. Two bang, two bang, I think. Yeah. I'm half on. I'm playing time with MC. One's possible. Go half on someone. Back street. Back was. 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 Back was.
Yeah, you get my eskies. I'm leaving you. I'm safe. Two, 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 three, 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 I'm with you. I'm with you. Watch out, watch out. 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 Lane down, right, 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 Rugs is open, Rugs is open, guys. Rugs is open. Rugs is open. Shot to deep street, shot to deep street. He went court, he went court. I'm trying. Shot to deep street, shot to deep street. He's court to Rugs, court to Rugs, court to Rugs. Court to Rugs. Court to Rugs. One's middle, it's in middle. Illy, he's setting half off. I'm playing. Nice, I'm playing. 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 I'm Dance typical Atlanta phase, comms are calm, Asti's telling everyone to chill out, but man, after the spawns go their way, we've got Atlanta phase, they've managed to pull this one back. Huge workout of the boys in red. Uh, absolutely, uh, huge plays, and well, RC is trying to make a, another one. He has found his way behind enemy lines, and even fights towards the front, phase are going to be able to get that scrap time, RC ends up getting hunted down. Talk about the comms being good on one side, Empire doing the exact same thing. No one's slipping through the cracks, and well, for FaZe, Simp might have just found his way straight through the front. He's inside an elbow. He's going to be looking to cause a couple problems, but where Simp is causing problems on one side, Shanti, the cutoff man, slowing down the push. Simp still inside of elbow, and he's got a little bit of teammate support. He gets traded, but the opening is there, but Krim, the final one. That 1v1 gunfight comes out on top, and well, now you got Dallas Empire with the full setup. You no longer want to try to flood to the front. You do not want to feed Crim6 streaks. Try to wrap through Eskies and great awareness to take Shotzi down. The phase flood is coming. Must have been a tiny barrel or something poking out there. But here comes the push, Dilly, though. Gets tags in a one. He can't quite take care of everyone, though. And there we go. Play now still staying closer on the hard point. Nay's coming through, but it's going to be Crim on the contest. Sim does manage to take care of him. Hard point now will go back the way of Atlanta phase for a brief few moments. Contest, though, Abizi on the flank. Cut down by Vivid. Sim, though, back over to the front we go. Rotation's already down and out, and it's going to be Asti's on the next hard point. But Vivid does manage to win a couple more. The battle's still going, and there's scrap time to be had. And Krim's going to gobble that up before they make their way over to the boulevard. And here we go. Ilian Shotzi trying to make the break. Asti's, he was there a long time ago, and oh, there it is, the stick. He's going to lock down that side of the bank. There will be no shenanigans from anyone from Dallas as long as Asti's has that covered. And if there has been any money hill this game, it has been this street hill phase. I, they didn't get quite a full 60, but they got 45, 50 points. You can't afford to let that happen uh -oh. again. Vivid and Illy working together to make sure that does not happen. They find two kills and well, a busy inside a rap room. Maybe can only find the one, can't quite take him down. And that is a wonderful adjustment being made by the Empire, not to throw anything away on the street. Still, though, for phase, you want to make sure you try to get these players out of the hill. This is still a, a fair bit of time, and not only that, you got to make sure you never lose these spawns. No one taking any long routes for the Empire, and it looks like phase just going to stabilize, try to get that set up for new, make sure you fill in all the gaps. You got, what, a BZ rotating up to Edskis. You got the setup that you want for phase. Basically, a, a tie game, Miles. This has been a war of attrition after the first two sets of rotations. A beautiful hard point so far. Far from done. Asti's now. On the point. Typically, you see the submachine gun plays there, but he's making it look sweet. Sell him now to back them up, trying to keep that point all in the hands of Atlanta FaZe. Coverage now from Dallas as they try to pick up that time. They have the lead for now, but for how long? It's again Selly making his play forward. Big kill on a shot. The second waiting around the corner. There's the teamwork from Atlanta. There's the kills. Goes their way. 35 seconds remaining on this hard point, and this is a big moment for them to take the lead here and control of the next as well. They're trying to run it up. They got the full setup as well. You got two players for Empire, but the question is, do you try to hike through the hill or do you flood around? 
Both of them just get shot down by the ARs and well, shots inside the point. But for Empire, I think your only opportunity thinking about rotating towards new is going to be Crim6. He gets dealt with. So FaZe might have given away up a, a bit of this final few seconds, but they had the setup for P2. Empire have broken it once before, but we talk about adjustments being made. If easy, should be calling these players out. Maybe even goes for a late pinch as Shotzi trying to make the play. He's straight hardcore parkour to try to get up in a top police or maybe just trying to play his life. Uh, he's doing a lot right now and somehow snuck through. It's Diamaxi in hand and he's going to make that one work out for now. And they do clean out the backside oh of the police God. department. So PD's all theirs. It's a jailbreak, baby. They've got it. They've got themselves hard point time now. And that is incredible out of Dallas. They've got to hold this one down though. I don't even know how they pulled that off. So gotta... Someone's killing Arcides in the meantime when Shotzi's finding his way through and all of a sudden you flip it again. Get the rotation of P2. You're trying to pinch in the hill, but you got your bases covered. Vivid might fall, but he's one shot. Abizi, though, pokes his little head out, finds a kill oh. inside the point, and he's got the help for the second. Breaks on breaks, but now it's about that foot race, right? Empire can't win it here, but look where they spawn. They're all the way out over towards new. They're going to have three and potentially all four players there. I mean, FaZe, you're going to potentially flood the front. This is the play they're trying to set up. All oh, crews trying to get the kills, though. Can't quite get it done. Shotzi, though, over to our Game Fuel featured player. The movement has been so good so far. Vivid. They're going to have the coverage there. The kills go through. No players from FaZe near the point for now. This is tremendous. Dallas Empire on the precipice of taking another hard point here. Ten seconds for the win. Cell, the wind-up punch. Shotzi puts him down. Simp now from elbow. Shots are in. Damage dealt. Abizi through the front. Is this the opportunity they need five seconds for the win phase with the point oh and vivid finds two more Selium can only get so much done vivid lays down in the grass and counts his blessings as dallas they will take another hard point from atlanta phase oh. and what this final was getting all kinds of spicy friends i hope you've got some milk or well, for those of you who are lactose intolerant i hear water's just fine but this is getting good I mean, you are going against a team that is 10 and 1 on this map and hand them their second loss all year long, and you do it by way of breaking P2s. They pull it off twice in Shotzi. I, I don't even know what words. You can only say it so many times. His movement, ridiculous. His like high IQ ability to just open things on the map because he put himself in a spot where he's like on the side of police. He's got Selium a little bit weak, like stuck in that back corner. And Arcides is playing all the way lower police in the back. But Chassi finds a way to let his teammates get the opening back street to take down Arcides. He stays alive. Selium then has too many players to deal with. Chassi's finding these kills. Just ridiculous things that he is able to just like uh, create on the map. He is a magician. And that is the look of a phase team that is not used to going down on Moscow. Oh, Dallas Empire oh, oh, oh. through the hard points of all things tie this series up in what an insane game. The stats are great. Illy again having a phenomenal series, at least when it comes to the hard points so far. So that is definitely at the top of the list of things you love to see for the Empire. But more importantly, it is just the kinds of plays that they are able to make on the map. Empire playing incredibly well. Incredibly well. This was supposed to be cruise control for Atlanta Phase. They were supposed to be sweet here, but you know, the sat nav just hit them with a turnaround when possible because they have gone the wrong way down those Moscow streets. Oh my God, what a good series we've got on our hands. A lot. I was getting messages, this DM, I saw tweets, 5-0. Well, you're all wrong. You're all wrong, friends. We're all tied up two to two. We're gonna go to a very quick commercial break now. When we come back, we're staying on Moscow. So don't put your shoes on just yet and search and destroy after this break.
Call of Duty League is presented by T-Mobile, now America's largest and fastest 5G network. Set your sights on the competition with T-Mobile, the leader in 5G. We are back. Major Four Final presented by Game Fuel and oh, oh, it's good to know that you're all as shocked as we are. The social soundboard powered by Astro and Adams here saying no matter how this series goes, you've got to tip it to Dallas. Don't think anyone expected to be this competitive with FaZe. No, we bloody didn't. It has been an absolute treat so far. The only mode we've really seen go heavily in favor of one side was of course that control. And even then, that was a hot one too. But here we go. The first of two Moscow complete in this series so far. We now go to Search and Destroy and Chance looking at the maps and modes. I, I, it's the respawns. I'm very surprised indeed to see Dallas be taking them. And I gotta say, just the fact that you go double Moscow back to back against FaZe and you get one of them, I'm already calling that a small win. Like if I'm Empire, I am incredibly happy with that. And if they can convert that into being the first team to beat them a Moscow search, that would be unbelievable sub. Even that raid control, it's not fun to play against FaZe, but there's so much potential for Empire now in this series. They have already done quite a bit of the hard work. Of course, though, as it goes for the standoff, keep in mind, FaZe was 0-2 on this map, winless before they played against the Empire, ended up serving up a very strong game towards the end. Simp, maybe not the man leading in charge, because it was very much a group effort across the board, but that is what you can expect in s &D. Uh, Again, even just against Dallas, Simp, Abizi, and Selim have been running the show against the Empire. And well, they've been running the show on Moscow all year long to the point where teams really just don't want to even bother trying to play them on it anymore. Well, you don't have a choice here in the grand finals. Again, those and winners come through. They basically get to dictate the entire series. Here we go, friends. Staying with Moscow. Search and Destroy will be the game mode. This is going to be an important one. Can Dallas Empire steal a search and make this a very interesting grand finals indeed? Or does Atlanta phase continue to have their way with it? We had pounded this one to be, you know, cruise control. Easy wins here for the boys in red. But Dallas have changed that one for us. Two bomb sites, first to six rounds get the win. We will take turns attacking and defending. Here we go, friends. Ocean Destroy, just around the corner. And I really, really want to see how Empire handled the pressure on defense when FaZe decides to flip that switch and just four flood over towards A. It's not necessarily a guarantee that they'll do it every round. FaZe definitely has a, a deep bag of tricks on this map, but that is definitely one of their tried and trues where they just try to truck teams and run them over. It'd be interesting if we get that square up in, in round number one if FaZe want to commit, but maybe without those stuns and nades at their disposal, might try to slow things down and make sure they avoid getting stuck. Three players looking in the middle of the map. Selium gets to jump up over that wall until Kingdom come. Crim6 knows exactly where he needs to look, but Selium won't jump again <laughs> until he heals up. Yep. <laughs> Land, baby. These shots are crisp. Nice nade. And force Crim back just for the time being. Again, creating these little opportunities while Atlanta phase, they will take their chances and they will take their time as well. I don't want to be making any mistakes at this point in time. But oh, Illy, nice opening. Damage into Asties, but not quite enough to get it done. Cell's going to keep on hopping. Here comes the play. Nades are out and about. Shotzi on the flank, though. Brilliant timing. Simno getting involved. There's another kill on Dallas Empire just like that. Love it when a plan comes together. That first round, all theirs. Thanks to the big flank from Shotzi. Hey, I was going to say, perfectly played. There is a, a brief moment where FaZe, if they're able to attack through the middle of the map, they might actually be able to make that play right because Shotzi, he gives it up. He leaves Globe to go on that full flank. But whoever it was, I think it might have been Illy or Vivid. Whichever one it was gets that kill from Platt in the middle of the map. Make sure that even if he just takes one, basically saves them the round, affords Shotzi all the time in the world to go on the flank. And then even Krim doing a nice job of just keeping that pace nice and slow. So he never left this spot. Nice first round to get is phase triple stack A on defense. And this is just going to be back to that information game that Moscow often provides. I haven't even heard a, a ton of stuns and nades getting tossed around. Ooh. Six maybe throws out a couple. And Ibizi, I mean, he's got that corner inside of Eskies, but I don't know if Dallas Empire are ever going to try to make a move in this direction. I think the, the action's going to be towards the bottom. Oh my God. Or the action's oh going to be where FaZe decide to make their move and push. Oh. Krim able to take down two. He brings two with him. 
with that, it's a 2v2. You've got one player over by the B bomb site over here by top PD, and that's Arsatis, and he did, baby! And last player up is going to be Sim. On planted over by B, bottom side of the apartments, and here comes Sim. Guns are up. Damage dealt. They know where he's coming from. How Sim going to finesse this one? Chance 30 seconds, and is he going to go through the front? Shots you see him cross. We've got questions. Looks like the reposition has come through. Nades are there. Illy's going to not get any tags in. And oh, there it is, Dallas. Strong defense. Beautiful heads up play. And a, a preposterous two piece from, from Krim. We're going to see it here for our best play. I, I'm shocked that he managed to get two of these players. That is clean stuff as well. I mean, you jump over that wall, you see two players directly underneath you. That is very much an uh oh moment. <laughs> Krim, though, making the big play, and that is two rounds back-to-back. -back. It is going to take plays like that all game long for Dallas Empire to come uh, on top. And I got to say, by the way, I know we're only potentially halfway through this thing, but I've been incredibly impressed with Illy's performance. Uh, I mean, again, the target on his bat, he's had to make a, a couple, like, you know, uh, he switched from the AR to the SMG back to the AR. People saying he's the guy that should be dropped, but he's been playing incredibly well so far here in the grand finals. Risen to the occasion is phase working their way over towards B and well for the moment Empire had zero information about what's happened on the map and Illy he might actually have a ton of pressure on him here in a few moments. There's your guy. Last check. Force back. A lot of control now on the site for Atlanta phase. Again exactly where they want to be. Nice in close where it's personal where they can see the whites of your eyes and oh whoa. Asties though is Craig rings and it lands those shots. First kill going his way. Busy though. Tagged up. Pushed back on laundry. He's still got good coverage. Shots he wants again on a mammoth flank. Ian Selium having a bit of a dance on the other side of the map. It's 30 seconds left. Shots he though. Oh no. He can't finish that kill just yet. Big coverage from a BZ. He does manage to get one though. It's Krim now. 2v3 situation. If he can take care of Asti's huge. Here comes the re challenge. The rest of the squad showing up to the fight. And Krim, there's not a lot he can do in that situation. Phase, early bomb site control, and a decisive round in the post plant position. They get themselves on the board. And that's just well played and mistake free. That is a moment where Simp is basically saying, I'm dead, but I'm going to buy enough time that someone can come and help me out. Abizi delivers and ends up getting the best play. I think that's very much a defensive setup where Dallas Empire may be trusting their retakes, but after RCD's belly down finds that pick on Illy, basically if no map control, you get Abizi post up inside the green. Not a fun sight to have to retake. I imagine Empire in the future maybe start making some uh, adjustments as we play, but either way, back on the attack. And this might be fairly aggressive over towards B as well. I suppose it might be a situation of anything FaZe can do, Empire trying to do better. Or maybe just the fact that FaZe tried to flood through A last time. They just want to sit stationary and try to, again, play for that information, feel out these rounds. Because already two players for FaZe have wrapped over towards B. They're already over. We are about to find out who's seen who first. Motion towards A as well, though. Shots, he's already made to top ski eskies, and that damage is going to tell you everything you need to know now. For Atlanta phase. Shots are there. We've got coverage in mid. Shots, he slides through. Oh, he can't get anything, though. Just a bit of damage onto a BZ, and that first blood goes his way. Advantage phase. Vivid will drop as well. Krim managing to do what he can to get some kills. The jump shot not quite all there, but the damage decent. Oh boy, Krim though, starting to heat things up. Now a submachine gun in hand. Not a lot of bullets, and sadly, not going to need them. There you go, Atlanta phase, tie things up 2-2. Two to two. Good Reese there in that round. I was going to say, just handling them on the rotation battle, right? We were talking about the two players that rotated over towards B. Well, one of those was a BZ. As soon as Simp is getting that information right, he's chucking that nade inside of Eskies. He knows that there's pressure towards the middle of the map. A BZ doesn't waste any time. He doesn't try to make any crazy plays. He gets right back to where his teammates want him. And then you get that triple stack over towards that A bomb. And a BZ is the man that ends up getting that first blood uh, and shutting down that round. So... Handling that information battle well. Again, whoever was shot calling in that moment did a, a fantastic job as RCD is now on a four spree. Potentially thinking about some streaks and maybe he can find oh. some kills right here. Shotzi gets traded out and Illy wins his one-on-one -on -one against RCD. Shuts down the streaks and gives the opening to win the round. Selium already. Good luck, have fun in a 1v3. And you are somewhat surrounded. Somewhat surrounded. And you know Vivid saw the bomb be dropped there. Wide open, no body near that one. There's going to be no question. Selium knows it too, and he needs to go recover that bomb, or at least kill three members of Dallas Empire. 1v3, 1v none, Dallas Empire, a wonderful 
opening gambit that pays off for them big time. They will take the lead. And Shotzi and Illy, just the fact that each of them were able to find the kills here, right? Illy wins the one-on-one, -on -one, does it by a bullet. And Shotzi, even though he's dealing with two players, able to take down one before he falls. And that is the opening for Vivid to make his move as well. That is a hyper-aggressive round on defense. And Empire, again, we talked about the adjustments that they were going to make. The round before that on defense, they lost because they gave up that uh, B bomb site. This time, they just fly to make sure they can shut it down. And, well, adjustments being made once again. It's a 2-2 split. Illy's found himself a, a nice corner in the back of the map. Crim6 making a little bit of noise. But it is very much a, a standard setup right now for the Empire on offense. Slowly but surely making their way in towards B, though. You're going to see Atlanta Phase make the read. And Abizi, oh, he can't get away with his life. Vivid does get it. First blood going their way. It's once again, Arsty's on the street. Pushed back now. Heavy tags, and he's got to worry about every single angle. And Dallas are going to hunt him down. Vivid looking for another this round. Bang, right in the back. That's going to be a 3v2. Krim loses his war over by the A-bomb site, and that is now going to give opening for those two remaining players of Atlanta Phase. Simp and Selium now make their way across map, but they have 40 seconds to get in there and get that bomb defused. See if they can do it. And Vivid just gets to play for information, right? He can watch the middle. There's only one player, which means these other two teammates have to deal with Simp. It is Simp versus two. And, well, I think Simp figured that out. He's wrapping back. And now you've got everybody trapped in sight. So you got two players. Uh -oh. Simp and Sully, they can pull this off. Working together. Well, here we go. Vivid, though, on point. If you want, Selim looking to play the outside. 15 seconds on the clock. He's going to have to slide on in, find these kills. Vivid's in that back corner. Here we go. Sell can't win the fight. Empire. Most plant position works out for them. 4-2 on Moscow Chance. They're not off the hook just yet, but they have almost got out of this Moscow patch of the series, and we're still surprised. We're still impressed. Dallas looking fine. And there might also be some cracks in the surface starting to show for FaZe, at least for this map specifically, right? They are 8-0, have been perfect so far, but even that round, Abizi just gets caught wide out in the open by Vivid, who is now on a five spree. Dallas Empire aggression has been their friend. They've been mixing up on, on defense as well. Again, that double hit their mid. Vivid flies on the flank. And Empire, well, maybe not hyper aggressive, but you can see the idea. They are hoping that uh, eventually this bomb comes over towards B, and they just funnel into Vivid. His street is going to be covered by Shotzi. You got your SMGs working together. And, and FaZe, again, for that information battle, they have... No idea what the setup is going to be on defense. They have been shown too many different looks. Slowly creeping forward. Quiet pitter-patter of boots across the tiles in mid-map is all you're going to be able to hear right now for Atlanta phase. They are slowly making their way forward. Illy, though, <gasps> he hasn't seen a single thing. Didn't watch the street cross, and now it may be on Vivid. Shotzi sees one set of feet. Can he make it a pair? Zasti's pushing up as well. Vivid, nice kill once again. Foul. The defense for Dallas holds and nice shots. Arsties will go down to Illy and it's a lovely bit of work. All on to Selium now and Krim. It's his job on this side of the map. Will Sel be able to slip through? Krim? Oh my god, timing's great. He must have just heard him. Shotzi though stays alive. Krim! Yes, the job done. Dallas with another beautiful round. It was clockwork, man. 5-2. Map point. And it really is. It just comes down to the shot calling. Wow. That again, it's just a perfect setup. Every single round, I think on defense, Empire have shown a different look in the entire design on that one is funnel them into green, let Vivid get a free and easy kill. And the fact that Shotzi, again, playing that nice little angle under the bus, strikes for that first blood, it just makes that much easier. They had taken it to him, man. I, I'm, I was looking at the double Moscows and thinking this might be the, the dagger in this series. Empire, uh, again, that world championship composure. They are bringing to the table right now. They have taken it to phase, and well, you have a little bit of information. You spotted a BZ towards the middle of the map, and if I know a BZ's nearby, I'm a little bit concerned. I don't <laughs> know if I'm going to try to fly at that guy. As you just have shots ringing out all over the map. You're half expecting him to fly at you, though, as well, which is a dangerous spot to be in a BZ. What an opponent. Keeps you guessing every time. Hey, and look at this, by the way, right? Abizi gets spotted towards the middle of the map. They're uh -oh. expecting the full rat back. They see RC's globe. They make the call instantly to try to flood out their way. Unfortunately, Selim's there for the pick, but they still have a three on two. They've got the three on two. Illy's going to win one on Selim now. Simp trying to bring the fight forward. We're going to see Abizi wrap back through the rear now of White. So they're going to push from the same angle. Meanwhile, the B-bomb site still being covered by RC's. What damage. Incredible gun fight now to be taken. Illy on a force spree. Can he find the fifth? As these players now pushing forward, and it is a game of whack-a-mole right now, and Sim got the hammer. 
Lands one. Illy trying to make his way forward. And Sif too strong. Unbelievable shots. Krim, he just about finishes the fight. And now it's a 1v2. 20 seconds on the clock. Krim now. Big shots with a Diamati. But bang, with a huge shot punch, the round comes to an end. And Dallas, there was a small opportunity to get it done. But Simp is just absurd. This is sure. one hell of a best play. Perfect shoulder, perfect shot coming through. The headshot on Shotzi as well. That was, uh, you know, you talk about the play calls Empire had been making. They read that round perfectly, oh right? God. As soon as they had information on ABZ and RCDs, they make the play call instantly. It might be unfortunate that Selim finds a pick, but you still bully out the site, get a little bit of pressure, and you got a three-on-three three until Simp just makes the big play to keep his team alive. FaZe working on fighting from a 5-2 deficit. They are back on the attack, and this might be the first time we have seen Old Faithful, the fly at A, and just gun them. FaZe are taking a chance. He's taking a chance. You're going to see a lot of defenders, though, from Dallas. And here we go, friends. The bell is rung. Vivid gets the first blow in. Shot, he finds number two. Grim on the third as well. Arcetes, the round is Perfect. over. Dallas with the most beautiful read, and every single kill goes their way. 6-3, and Dallas have successfully navigated their way through the Moscow part of the series. Wow. I, if you could get through the Moscos, you could do anything. Like run for president, cure cancer, whatever you need. That was an 18 and one map count combined from FaZe on those past two maps in Empire. They get it done. Every setup on defense ends up playing it perfectly. FaZe goes for the old faithful for the final round, but Empire there. And again, that is just perfect counter strats, perfect calls every single round from Empire, well prepared, on point and they get the job done. The P2 breaks they had in the hard point, on point, everything for Empire clicking. I'm incredibly shocked, Miles, with how this series has been going, especially that far, but here we find ourselves in the grand finals in Dallas Empire with a three to two lead, getting it done in the SMD. And not, it's not like anyone is in individually going crazy. We're seeing beautiful plays all in all from the squad, but Krim, Nice finish there, that last kill, you name it, Shotzi with a movement of times throughout the map. Illy, beautiful plays and Vivid doing the work as well. Everyone here really playing a blinder and it shows in the scoreline. Dallas with a slight lead, but upon our return after this quick commercial break, we're playing Control and it's on Raid. We'll see if FaZe can keep up the dominance in Control after this break. And what a turn of events here in Major 4. The finals brought to you by Game Fuel. Atlanta Faze going up against Dallas Empire. And Dallas Empire have the lead so far. 3-2. This incredible best of nine series. And honestly, I, I have no idea what the hell awaits us as we get deeper and deeper into these maps and those. So far, as you can see, it has been an incredibly close affair. Aside from that, Garrison Control. And that's what we're playing next. It's going to be Control on Raid. Chance, what do we think, mate? Is this another blowout for FaZe? Do they level it up here? 
Well, I'm looking at that Express S&D, right? Because FaZe, obviously, right now, they're down by one. That has not been a great map for them. They are four and six on Express, so they need to make sure that they clutch up and they control and make sure they don't find themselves at a disadvantage. The great news for them, they are the best control team in the game. The even better news for them, you're going to Raid, where Simp is the best Raid control player in the game. He's got a 1.35 KD on the map, and they've played it, what, 12 times? It is completely absurd. They play it all the time. He is the best by a mile. Something that is interesting though, when I'm looking across the board, the brand new SMG player for the Dallas Empire, Vivid, also very strong on raid control. He's got like a 1.24, 1.25. So Sim definitely has the edge. The Vivid potentially that contender in the SMG so far have risen to the occasion. Shotzi has been balling out. Vivid has had a, a couple fantastic maps. This is an interesting one, man, because if you would ask me on any other day who was going to win this, I would have said phase 3-0, next question. <laughs> After witnessing what we've seen so far today where you got reverse sweeps against the Ultra from the Empire, you got them doubling up on the Moscows against the phase, I'm a believer. I, I think the Empire can pull it off. But at the same time, we've seen what Simp can do. Maybe they'll just put on a, uh, another world-class performance. Well, you can't count anyone out in this entire series. That's the beautiful thing. And that's no, the way that, you know, Atlanta phase has been built. Every single one of those players, none of them prone to the bad game. They really do have the ability to turn a map on its head. Oh, we have a lot of love. Oh, Asti, so he's not on camera. Sorry, mate. You've wasted that beautiful... Oh, there it is. It just got in there. A lot of love to the fans. Thank you very much, friends, for all tuning in and spending Father's Day with us. And hopefully the dads, you've, you've had a lovely day and you've enjoyed yourselves a, a pampering, a spoiling, and now you've got yourselves some fine, world-class Call of Duty on your device. On your television, if it really is Father's Day, you're on the big TV and the whole family's watching, we appreciate you. Here we go, though, raid control chance. We're in on A already. Nasties, well, he's exploded. Uh, it's best case scenario. Shoot a guy, and I think Ibiza ends up dropping the nade, or maybe he just poorly nades. And that is very quick. You get shut down on the opening break, and Dallas Empire had the full setup. They rotated incredibly quickly to trade these players in, and then Arcides opens up the map for his team, finds a big two kills, and it at least makes this back to a 50-50 potential. You still have a couple more gunfights you need to win, but that could have gotten very bad very fast. But Arcides providing for his team for the moment. Can't quite find that kill on Krim, but now FaZe starting to run amok. Yeah, I was going to say, you had to deal with Sim. Oh, and Krim does. Daddy, Krim 6 right now as he puts Sim down. Still, though, on the B zone. It's going to be Cell. Beautiful crossfire there from Asti's. Nice coverage. Keep Cell alive. Going to keep him now on the point. He's still got pressure on. Dallas not giving this one up yet. Again, B, the more valuable zone here on Raid. It's a difficult one to capture, and if they can get it done early on, it spells a good sign for Atlanta FaZe here. But Illy... Oh, he's waiting. Again, the coverage so good from FaZe. No openings whatsoever. If they can find one, they're going to take it. Vivid, I mean, he had a shot. He got put down. Sells four and one so far. And Krim get it done. Oh, it's Shotzi from top bed. Spoiler alert, he's on a five spree. Yeah, he's been working this flank, by the way, for the past 45 seconds. This <laughs> has been an incredibly long play developed from him. And he might be able to finesse it perfectly or maybe just gets timing and someone sniffed him out. Whoever it was, bottom bed, eventually finds him. But even though Shotzi falls, doesn't get streaks, his teammates find all of the kills. Vivid, who had a slow start, an opportunity for him to turn things around, started off 0-6, has since gotten three in a row and can't quite find the next. But uh, either way, his bottom team time phase. They are down to 10 seconds left on the clock. Yep. End up 9 or 11, depending on how fast your eyes are. And there we go, Cell. Going to take care of Shotzi. Damage coming through. Still, the first segment on A complete. That's three segments so far in this first round. Fourth phase. Selling still alive and kicking. Doing a wonderful job of holding down that A zone. And now, attention to B as well. Oh, boy. They got off the zone for a brief moment. It's going to allow Cell to back on up. But B's almost gone. It may as well be complete. And I say, Oh, he gets the kill. Oh, my God. Box alive again. Now back to A. Cell's on it. Starting to get the capture here, but Shotzi wins that gunfight as well. And there's less than five seconds to play for now. FaZe have got to go. And straight to A, they make the play. And it's going to be Shotzi from a high. Oh, he lands the kill. And it allows the clock to burn out. What an absolute superstar move. Oh, my word. Are we going to see it again? We're going to see it again. Thank God for that. The best play. Oh, my from God. From the top rope. He lands the shot. And with the kill on Simp here. They're like the point two seconds clips over and Dallas get the round. 
Oh, we have ourselves a game. And keep in mind, right, you got Shotzi, 9-2, playing out of his mind. He goes on a five spree. He's making those flanks towards bedroom. How close Faze got to capturing B multiple times, right? Shotzi goes on a flank, shuts him down. Towards the end, Illy, if he does not pick up those two kills, like those are the most two valuable kills of the map because that forces Faze's oh hand. God. Ridiculous <laughs> play, Golden. Ridiculous, Tyler. The three piece towards the middle of the map. What the hell of a way to start out this round as he's wiping the team. You think he's done now? You think he's gonna stop here? You think you can stop a breezy? Oh my god! What in the name of all things COD? Well, he's dead now, but boy, did he take a lot with him. That's an exciting start from Atlanta Face. You know they are pissed at losing that first round chance, and they're going for the jugular. Oh my god, I need Siri to play a song by Future right now. I'm starting to feel the vibe for FaZe. They are trying oh to get that god. flow state through the middle of the map. You take down one tiny tear, the next is there to rip your head off. Empire might have found some sort of opening over towards A. You get a couple players top art, you get shots in the back line, and they are reading these gunfights. Illy, I think, might have actually heard this player. Actually, no, someone just found the opening. So you have Simp behind enemy lines trying to look to make the play. There's two players on this point that he's trying to get rid of. There's the not the first. Oh. Trim doesn't even fall. He's able to Ooh. stay alive and vivid. Gets his trades. The work out of Empire, the teamwork, too clean. Incredible stuff. They keep the capture A alive. Now the attention will turn towards B. Krim will eventually drop to sell. That's not a bad bit of work. Illy will get that swift vengeance. But now. Over towards the B zone we go. There is an interesting bit of coverage. And again, that top bedroom spot now just been vacated by Vivid. And he's a -ed. Simp now. They'll make their way forward. They've still got a chance to make that defense on B. But this is the bedroom spot you really want to have right now for Dallas Empire. Really important place to be. They don't quite have that control yet. Nice defensive lineup here from Atlanta Phase. And Empire are well aware of the fact that there's at least one player in the bedroom. I don't know if they know that there's two, but if they're able, ever able to kill these players in kitchen, they're going to have this opening because you can start capturing B and bedroom might not matter. Our cities, though, with oh, his pressure wow. on, he finds two big ones. Yeah. And you talk about the hero for the team. Yes, he gets traded, but he has bought his teammates so much time to make the play, even selling, winning that one-on-one -on -one gunfight. I mean, Shotzi's by himself at least for a bit of time. And phase on defensive end, they have a six life lead empire. They're gonna have to do this by capturing this objective. This is huge, they have to get it done. 45 seconds to work with Krim now. Oh my God, maybe an opening. Did he see Asties? Is he able to get the kill? The answer is yes, but Abizi there for that immediate trade. Mid map coverage now for Abizi. Shots, he's still alive in the backside now. And, oh, he's got a Krig in hand and he's a dangerous man. 13 and five. Zell, oh wow, what a headshot. Just stops the play, that could be it now. Dallas has still got a chance here. Three man push now through bedroom. There's no one in there. They have got an opening. They have to find the kills, though. Asti's posted up here by the cutout. We've got Selim on the left-hand side as well. Trades have got to be on point. And Illy, the man to try to find those kills as he moves in on Tiki. Clock ticking. Ten seconds to work with. Illy's now going to get himself in there. No kills, though. You still have to stop the clock. Don't forget about that simp with the big gunfight win. Shotzi can't get it done either. Krim, last player left. And FaZe. They will hold the line on defense. Oh my god, what a control. Oh, my god. I just can't believe. Oh, here's the look, by the way. This is what we need Holy to see. Oh there's my one, there's God. two. Oh, my God. I, I mean, they were hurt, but like the snap, everything, the placement, you name it, man. What a, wor like, what a warrior. Okay. And keep in mind, as he gets two more, Empire actually kind of fought back in this round. I saw this and I was like, that's a wrap, dude. Like, that is over. You have no hope of winning the round. And granted, it doesn't go their way, but they still made it a, a little bit interesting. So... Empire, they certainly have the resolve, but something that was mentioned, right? Sim, one of the, the best, well, the best control player in the game, the best on raid control. I was thinking Vivid could maybe be that guy to try to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Well, right now, he's sitting at triple negative, and it is everybody in the middle of the map. Boink. The man that needs to get hot is Vivid, though, and he finds himself, too. Oh, he finds himself, too, and a couple of assists as well. 7 and 18 now for Vivid, looking to turn this around, and Beezy's up next. Oh, I get it. Beautiful shots out of Tyler Farris, and with that... It all falls down to Illy on the defense by B. Oh, nice shots on his cells. A couple more players to deal with here still. That nade's going to get him. Now the capture at B begins. David will have to find two big kills here on the players in either corner. And Abizi slides on out, makes it that bit easier. Can he find the kill onto Abizi? Yes. Now to Arsatis. Vivid. Can't quite get it done, but still good pressure now. The rest of Dallas showing up. You are flooding that zone if you're Atlanta phase right now. And Vivid's so close to making the play, but instead he can't win the gunfight and the help a little bit too slow. So the coordination not on point and phase, take full advantage, get that capture. And now two minutes to capture A. 
I think we have maybe seen it twice this year where a team defends A for the entirety of the time. But right now, you have to imagine FaZe are happy with the spot that they're in. But they're going to fall one by one like dominoes, and they got players in their base. So it is going to be a, a very long round potentially that we have at our hands. But Empire right now, they get the setup that they want. FaZe, they got to crawl oh, out wow. of the base. Okay, see, it's on Krim now. He's on a three spree, and these players are on the hunt for him. A BC will drop. From staying alive. Good timing now on the push. We'll be able to get our cities as well. Vivid actually lands that one, so Krim's not exactly working on this spree for much longer. Beautiful shot once again. No more, though, for Krim. The five spree comes to a close. Still on the A defense. It was a long time to work with before, and now, oh, that's unlucky. Shots, he'll be caught in a splash damage as well. That makes that art side of the map a little bit more open, and now you have a player making their way through mid. Sim, looking to make this more dangerous. The terrors trade out. Oh, no, BZ. Oh, my God, Chance. He is unstoppable. Under the A zone we go. That is a big... And that's a big gunfight, too. If you ever lose pressure on the site, you're going to start spawning out if you're Dallas Empire. So you have to win all these gunfights right here, right now, or that's done and dusted. Two ticks through, but they provide. Oh they pick God. up two oh big ones. The swarm is there, and they get all four. Anyone from Empire that died would have spawned across the map. Instead, they have the map on lock. Try to flood through driveway, that's covered. Go through mid, maybe a little bit of an opening. Phaser are taking their time though. They want one strong push, eight lives left, 40 seconds on the clock, they're working through R. Single segment to grab. They need more than one player on the point if they can. There's the first kill. Illy makes mid map safe. Oh, Shotzi finds another one as well. The play's still working out though. Illy brings the guns forward. Shotzi once again on the receiving end of these wonderful trays and he is having a game, friends. 20 and 11. 20 seconds left on the clock now. Abizi's going to step up to the plate. Here comes Stellium, who does have the resolve to bring him down. Illy, though, he's got to stop these players making the cross. And there it is, the kill from mid. Is that the opening as Vivid's tagged up? This could be it. 10 seconds on the clock. Vivid finds one. But Abizi now on the point, still trying to keep the player alive. Shooting at ankles, and it's going to be Krim. Can Dallas get in there in time? And it's Shotzi once again. Oh, he loses the fight. And Abizi captures the point. And finally, FaZe, they manage to seal the offensive rounds. What in the name of COD are these rounds of control? We hope you're enjoying the show, friends. I mean, somewhere in the dictionary next to the word composure, that is unfortunate for Sim. Uh, there is a <laughs> picture of FaZe on raid control. The number of rounds that they have had throughout this year, the number of rounds they've had in the past two days yep. where they are just down to the wire less than five seconds off the clock, they're down on lives, whatever, and they just find ways to win. Phaser are just unreal oh, on raid control, and they find themselves with a 2-1 lead. Empire, though, obviously have some fight in them, though. Opening breaks matter quite a bit. Selim wins his one, and it's a, a bit of a scatter across the board. But as Selim falls, Shotzi, he has a, a little bit of an opening. Empire trying to attack A off the rip, and this is important for him to be alive in these power positions, make his teammates' job that much easier. Nice reads on the flank. Empire doing all the little things right. The gorgeous breakout now from Dallas Empire, and Shotzi with beautiful awareness on that front line. Three-man capture. It's going to be gone. A, a thing of the past. Two minutes and 19 to work with now on the clock, and Shotzi is still throwing shoulders and throwing hands over by the backside of Kitchen. Doesn't necessarily have to make the play. His teammates will be able to do that, but through mid-map, it was a BZ who... Try to get the shots into those Dallas players on the push. But now we're here we go. Busy back towards money. Three-man stack for Dallas Empire through Kitchen. Shotzi. Oh, my word. Good timing. Shotzi. Oh, the timing's great. The shots are even better. And, baby, he's in the back now. Busy though, through money window. Able to slow these players down. And, oof, thank God for that black jacket. He ate that one. The Shotzi on a force spree now. He is having a sensational map. There is an opening I, that, now, that is the understatement of the century. Shots is <laughs> unreal. He is making plays that like veterans of 10 years oh aren't God. able to make. He just waits for so long to time that push out perfectly. He's turned this into a five spree. You get the pressure on the point, and he wants the oh score trees. Wow. He wants to catch him off guard, and he gets him. Only finds one, but that's the sixth spree for him. And he's got more gunfights to win. Line him up in front. Give him number seven. Give him the artillery. And still alive in the back, causing all of the problems. Far from over. Here comes the push, though. It's going to be Arsties and Abizi trying to take care of him. There goes one. The second will just get the kill, but full streaks have been achieved for Shotzi. Sim still in bedroom control. A five spree of his own. As these two juggernauts, the champions of their respective teams, go toe to toe, blow by blow, they fight their way across map. Krim stops it for now. And they will drain the B zone. His good defensive work from Abizi is now still a long time to work with. A minute 15. Delium, getting nerdy. We love to see it. 
Arsene's trying to lock down that front side of kitchen chance, and this is an unbelievable round of control. And look at who is it. Shotzi again. If he gets in basketball and they start getting some kills, they're going to spawn them out. You call in the artillery and you win the round. It is not an easy play to set up, but the spawn out is going to start to occur. Hunts him down in kitchen. You got double streaks, or maybe you're the score streak yourself. Oh my God. Trying to look for Selim, finds him. Gets rid of the trophy, spawns him out. Unfortunately, though, for Shotzi, his teammates are dying in oh. bedroom, but Illy oh. trying to make things happen. Two ticks. Well, a tick and a half, excuse me, through on B. It was simply a beasy. We're having a sleepover in top bed, and one of them's now gone. Beasy's left alone on that side of the map. Still streaks to work with. See the defensive work now from Atlanta face. Sent by Money Window. Abizi still over here. Oh, there goes Abizi. One side of the map now wide open. Illy, what a reposition. Oh, from down low. Krim's going to get in an aid kill as well. And spawn protection will come into effect if these players do get caught out in the open. And Abizi, though, in kitchen. It will land. Arsties couldn't catch that one from the same spot. They do have a bit of clearance, though. Streaks now coming into play. Trying to slow these players down, Chance. Will Dallas be able to make the push? Now through the front. Artillery lands. We do find Selium. You still have kitchen control, and Sim is on the flank. Dallas, have got to move fast. Atlanta, they got no lives remaining. They got one man on the flank, but this is too many bodies on point. You're going to have to fly. You don't have any time. You try to cut through mid, and you blink, you miss it. Empire. Get at least the round win to force the game number five. They invest both of their streaks to make it happen. But by God, they made it happen. And just to backtrack and touch on that play, Shotzi's throwing so many shoulders, has two players up around the tree looking at him, and the timing is perfect. He waits for his teammates, and as soon as FaZe is like, well, we haven't seen Shotzi in 15 seconds, the play's coming through mid. As soon as they make the move, Shotzi times it perfectly to move it out. I don't know if that's him being a god on the map, if working with Krim and Rambo has turned him into whatever. But he's making incredibly intelligent plays on top of the fact that the dude has 32 kills. Round five, here we go. Surrounded by some of the finest pod brains in recorded human history, player of that talent is surely to rise to ghost status. It's a matter of time. But will it happen today? That's the question. We'll see if he can continue to write this history. But Sim, another player who is outstanding oh, in every regard. A nice two-piece, a first segment. Oh, wait, he didn't get it. They got the segment at B, but I don't think they got the one at A. I think it's a pixel before they do manage to get that. So A... Did not get completed, though. Dallas on the push now, trying to get themselves in there on B, but the second segment there has been cleaned up. And very, very quickly, will they be able to get on this fast? Arsties with a poke. Beautiful kill on the Illy, and just like that, B's gone, the final round. And oh my, it's a very different look. As Dallas have now got a bit of soul searching to do. Life count not great, 21 to 26. Bay's leading the charge, but there we go. They now close in on A, and oh my, chance this round could be over. There's no streaks either. They're trying to do it fast. Oh you got Illy trying to make the play. He can at least find two. The shots he gets dealt with. And oh you get two God. bodies back on point. You're spawning so far away. The second tick is almost coming through. You're going to have to flood this. Oh and look God. who's got the streaks. Selling him, dropping the bombs in the middle of the map. Funneling oh him on through God. a phase with the quickest. Round five you are ever going to see. From start to finish, it was like a clinic that they ran the show. Synth goes by himself towards ring. It's a fake. We've seen FaZe do it before, and they play him like a fiddle. It is three players slow working in this B site, and as soon as the gunfights come through, one player gets picked off mid, and Simp by himself drops two players over towards ring. So at that point, the game is up. You gotta go back and deal with Simp. You end up losing B in FaZe, orchestrating it in the final round. Too good of a play call, too well done, and too good on raid control, FaZe. Take care of business in a map that, in my mind, was a must win for them. Dallas have been stunned by that last round. Unbelievable. They've got to have a, a couple of choice words now. They have a brief moment to recuperate, but that was a tough loss. And with that, though, mate, the series, we come back to a tie. Incredible effort out of Dallas. But that final round, wow. Well, very impressive indeed. The social soundboard powered by Astro. I think we all share the same sentiment. Here, you know, CJ's there. We got Sad Boy Nick and we got Stagely saying, Holy Abizi Sheesh, what have I witnessed? Well, we are in the presence of true greatness today, friends, as Abizi putting on quite the show. 3 3 here in the grand finals. This series is going the distance and oh my god. I mean, it's not quite you know, big wake numbers, but we are putting in the work here on Control on Raid. A lot of damage either side chance, anything crazy that catches your eye before we get into Express Search and Destroy.
I think the craziest thing by far is it's not the individual plays from a BZ ripping heads, popping six pieces that's winning games. It is the intelligent play calls at the end that phases breaking out to get these wins. Everyone right now working together as a team. Both teams are on fire. What a hell of a grand finals we have in our hands. What a hell of a grand finals we have in our hands. We're far from finished, but we do have to take a quick commercial break upon our return. Express, search and destroy. Don't miss it. He's gonna take some shots. Now he's got Zell to deal with, and look at that snap. Will I ever stop it? Actually, gonna Octane able to find some kills that have life advantage, but Scum Boy 3! Trying to do it inside the play, but Cammy doesn't want to go down without a fight. Another triples, the multi kills keep on stacking up. Can Illy be the hero? He does it! Illy clutches up for the 1v2! Two times, able to win one on ones, but that Priesta, he gets spotted. This is gonna be a stack. Dallas, come out swinging. Ridiculous performance coming out of Empire. He's he just crimp there. He's just crimp. And Ultra bring it back. And the child towards the middle of the map. Formal going big in the round, and he wins that one too. Optic taking 6 4. gentlemen welcome back to major four the grand finals brought to you by game fuel and what a tournament it has been what a final it has been we're all tied up 3-3 now going into our next matchup and what a control that was pals if that didn't tickle your pickle well i would book an appointment with a doctor because coming up next we've got search and destroy on express we've got an apocalypse hardpoint and a raid s and d the final showdown should we need to get there and probably the things well the way things are going right now chance oh my god it could actually happen six four in the first search 6-3 in the second search went the way of Dallas. Now over to Express we go. What do you think, mate? Well, I think we're on our seventh map, and this would have been the second map in the entire series that I think the Empire actually have an edge. Obviously, the series has not played out like that at all, but this is one of the only things where I was like, all right, if Dallas Empire can get to this point, like, okay, they've made it, and they're tied in this situation, not even back against the wall, and just to try to, like, go through the list. Ailey's been playing out of his mind. Shotzi is making an argument for being the best player in the world, like, straight up. Yeah. Krim is having a phenomenal day on top of Grand Finals, and on the flip side, FaZe, who are still the number one team in the world, most of it is just taking care of business. I'm so shocked that they dropped the Moscos, but they have been tearing it up on the raid. Anytime you get those just like nail biter of a round, they just find ways to come out on top. It's delivered. This series is delivered. I think for anyone, like anything you'd want to see for either team across the board, both teams, all players, everyone have been on point. A war of a series that we have had so far and well, the next three maps we got Express, S&D, Apocalypse, Hardpoint, 
And then we finish off with a raid S and D should we get there. But Express, one of the only quote unquote weak maps for Atlanta phase. I know that they have put in the work and grinded to start to figure this bad boy out. And on the flip side for Empire, well, I'm looking at Crim6, or maybe even not. Maybe I'm looking at all of them, right? Illy's performance is out of his mind. Crim6, this map has been his home. Miles, what I'm saying is, I'm excited. I'm, I'm speak your language, mate. I really, I think we're all excited to see what the name of all things sacred, what in the sweet baby race source are we about to witness here on Express? But here we go. The search and destroy prowess for both teams has been admirable. They have really put on a show. Honestly, I don't, I don't know what to, what to envisage. You know, I like to kind of have an idea of like who's going to go big here and who's not. But instead, we're going to strap ourselves in, friends, and we're going to enjoy the ride. Here we go. Express Search and Destroy in Dallas with a clean two to start this one off. And could it be a perfect sweep? No, Sim Cell, they're going to want some back with two of their own. Celium puts one into a teammate. And with that, it's a 2v1. Celium now left alone and Crim 6 closes it out. It wasn't Shotzi, it was Crim. Woo! Nice job, good round. I mean, they are very similar players, but this is just <laughs> a, a very bold call. Come in, dude, they both did it. Arsenies and Ibizis trying to work through the middle, but unfortunately for them, the Empire sent three. Massive gunfight wins and uh, unfortunate towards the end because Selim actually nearly opened up the round for his team. He caught Shotzi down low. Potentially a pinch could have get set up, but just a, a clean opening break. And again, if you paid attention on the Moscow, the thing that really changed the game for the Empire, they were switching plays up constantly. Offense, defense, doesn't matter. They are mixing things up and their play calls were on point. Faze, they're going to have to deliver and start making these constant adjustments as well as at least for their first round on attack, it is a quick three men over towards Zay and Abizi, the first blood reaper, doesn't even commit. <gasps> they both get out with one HP. Oh my God, what, is that one of the signs of the apocalypse? Abizi starting the kill, but not quite getting it. Here we go though. All sorts being thrown at each other right now. At this point in time, everyone's pockets are empty. They're gonna be throwing lint and foul language at this stage. Here comes the play though, Abizi once again, eyes are on. David with the shots, trades out we go, slip sliding. Oh no, shots, he's gone, obscured the view of Arsites. He didn't see him. And with that though, Illy gets first blood. We like it, shots, he takes a second shot at it and does manage to land it. And there we go, 4v2. Atlanta get the bomb down, selling him from the back line. Abizi from inside the train. Oh, sweet child of mine, Grim though. He's on a four spree and now it's selling him. Last player left alive, shots, he throwing shoulders. Now trying to allow the play to develop. You got plenty of time, chance, hours in COD language to get the kill and now get the defuse. They're gonna play this one safe. Unbelievable stuff. <laughs> right, they're gonna play this safe. We've still gotta get those trophies through. Sweet Christmas, what a round. And an interesting thing, I think Empire overall have had somewhat of mixed success on this map, but when they are good, they are great. And when they are great, Crim6 has been popping off. I think one of the, the few at like 10 and 0 performances where a player doesn't die, I think Crim provided on this map. Obviously, you know he knows it well from Black Ops 2 and making the reads, right? That was a 2v4 that FaZe immediately turned into a two versus two, but Abizi trying to get out with his life through the middle trains. That's where Crim6 is waiting for the kill to fall in his lap. Playing incredibly well so far. And you talk about the mix bag, right? They, they double hit or triple hit mid last time. I think even this round, they sent two in phase. They try to make the hard read. They just stack the hell out of A. Meanwhile, the bomb over towards B, gonna be planted. And right now for Empire, they have control of everything they could possibly want. They got Illy inside the hallway. They get Chassis to take care of ramp. You get Vivid on one of the best head glitches in the game. And Crim6 responsible for uh -oh. the flank. Illy, though, he gets caught. He finds himself in the wrong part of town. He's out. Osti's trying to lead the charge. Chossy, though, movement on point. In and out he goes. Guerrilla warfare at the finest. BZ, though, from behind. Takes care of Crim. Looking for them for these players. The shots are there. Simp's going to find one more. Vivid stays alive, but not long enough. The defuse comes through. Atlanta phase. Stop the bleeding. Tiny Terrors. They find a success here in the third round. And that's a very important round for them to get, not just for the fact that, you know, you're only down 2-1 instead of 3-0, but just to say, hey, you can plan over at this site and we will have the retakes for you. And Abizi putting in work again. Crim6, the guy that's uh, supposed to be watching the flank. Well, Abizi, <laughs> a man that just finds openings all the time, finds another one there. The swarm too quick and just efficient teamwork, right? Double challenge in to take down Illy. After that, just hit him from all angles. Wonderful round for FaZe to get for that bounce back. And... Now they go back on the attack. Last time they were able to get that bomb planted over towards A, but I don't know how many times they will do the same thing in a row. 
swap it out the last. the case now, over <laughs> yeah. towards B. Yeah, over towards B. I was going to say, they could train the members of Empire to expect that play and Three of them towards A is going to be one thing. Over, though, to Illy, the lone defender here towards that B side of the map, and he's going to just back on up and play very, very safe for now. Meanwhile, the rest of the site will be firmly in the hands of Atlanta Phase. Bomb being planted quickly now by Arsites. And the slight reshuffle now from Dallas Empires. They've got the pick of... Oh, my! Pick of the play! And speaking of picks, there's one for Grim. And he was able to find a lot of first bloods as well, but he still got the swarm. Uh -oh, yeah, uh -oh. he got players oh! trying to flank and sit. Can only find one, and Shotzi finds the next. The dominoes have fallen. Arsides for a 1v3, not making a 1v2. You know he's going to find this kill eventually. He can't get it. The help. The help is too quick. The coordination too good in the gunny from Crim6, by the way. I know he's got the AR, but... That is an old man with the reaction time of a very young 18-year-old to snap on Simp up top. Krim has been putting in the work. I say battle tank in the body of a human being right now. That was an incredible opening pick as well, man. Like he, I can't believe he got that. He stayed in this position as he hits towards the front of the tracks. That's where Simp starts to take his shots. And howdy doody. Oh, man, it's a clean three, the headshots. Oh, see you later, son. I'm your daddy. Happy Father's Day to all. Another round now, now for Empire. Dallas. Yeah, man, on offense. I was going to say, I mean, what, shown a, a few different looks, had a creative play towards the middle of the map. They've definitely been favoring this B site, and well, Selim doesn't even go for the ball. Oh bangs God. it. Trim with the first blood. Connects with the headshots. Now you got Simp inside a ticket, though, and Arsene is there for the help, so that's even up to a 3v3. Oh, Very my God. But the Swarm is there, and Vivid, hunted killer drone on the map. The Swarm, the annihilation, the crispiness of the first bloods. That is a blink and you miss it round. And look at the timing and the aggression and the willingness to fly. Vivid, the new man on the team, does not lack any confidence. 4-1 lead for the Empire. And this is not exactly what you expect, truly, from anyone of Atlanta face. Starting to show real signs of unease. They're starting to get a little tense. Grouped up like that, no eyes on the flank. They're letting these mistakes fly by and the damage is being done. Once again, back to the 3-1 split. Illy the lone defender, no problem. He's got Selium's number, first blood. That is a tremendous start. The bomb may be planted at B. You've got Simp though, going for something here by the A site and might be a stick, might be a kill. Oh, shots he gets away. Vivid does not and back and forth the trades go. 2v2. It's a 1v1 over here by the A bomb site and over by B, it's a 1v1 as well. It's Crim6 and it's Arsites and it is over. Oh my gentle Jesus. It's 5-1 and Dallas Empire are one round away from taking another search and destroy. And they're giving them nothing to work with at any given moment, right? Selim's gotten blooded like two rounds in a row by the ARs. Synth like might start to find an opening, but he gets traded out. Empire, they have just been on point on this map. Again, if there was any map in this series where I was just leaning the direction of Dallas, it was this one. They still need to close out the game because if there is any team I am terrified of at any given moment, FaZe you know can make these comebacks. And they have aggressed towards the middle of the map. Abizi is quick to find an opening. But he gets caught. He got Illy tucked in the back of the map. The play calls from Dallas in searches, at least the past two maps, have been perfect. Sitting in your spawn, it's the ode to Clayster. Now the play towards a bomb in hand. Only going to be asked he's really over there now, as you can see the jostling between seven and eight. That's Simp and Selium. Pressure now towards that A bomb site. And again, the Dallas Empire. Numbers in their side. Oh, that flash check could not have been any more perfect. Now you know, there's at least one player there, possibly two. And Arsties, slow and steady, waiting for the sound cues, waiting for the noise, waiting to peek onto that bomb site and hopefully kill a planting player. But now, quiet. 35 seconds on the clock chance. Look at that angle. Oh, he saw the foot. And trophies out. That's when you know the play is going to get called. But right now, I mean, you're a man down for phase. They're not going to be able to slide Ooh. in. Arsene tries to make the play. You Ooh. know, the trade should be there. Sim protects him for a moment. Arsene is still alive with one HP, and he's going to be able to heal back up. He heals back up. The gunfight's still here. A couple of tags go his way. Vivid just dialed in. Not going to let him get away with his life. And now it's all on a Selium. Oh, he's gone. Selium is done. You've got yourself Dallas with a 6 1 on Search and Destroy. And Express is over. It truly was the Express, mate. That barely lasted for six minutes. I'll wait to see the stats on that one. Wow! Dallas! An incredibly dominant display there. Chance they've taken the lead in the series. They've actually uh, put they themselves... in momentum. That's for a tournament point! 
Tournament point, indeed. And if you look at them, I mean, you couldn't even tell. If you were to just look at the player's face, that is very much just dialed in, laser focused, ready for the next map. On the flip side for FaZe, I mean, they've had a few times this year, certainly throughout, Toronto's given it to them as well, New York a couple times. They've dealt with adversity and they've done a very respectable job of making these comebacks, but the pressure is on them. And I gotta say, it's not really a favored map for either of these teams going to Apocalypse for the next game, but FaZe, they are dealing with just a hefty amount of pressure. I don't know how many times I've seen a BZ when he's looking for those first bloods, not even like chow the gunfight towards the end, things like that. Catch me off guard with Crim6. Just uh, again, feather in his cap, shades of Black Ops 2. Might be an old man, but the Gunny's 18, 9 and 1 performance. Again, he delivers on Express. What a performance so far. Tournament point for Dallas Empire. Atlanta Fades have got to make the comeback here on Apocalypse Hardpoint before that final and exciting game nine. Will we need to get there though, friends? We're going to take a quick commercial break, and when we come back, more card. You do not want to miss this. Tweet the stream. Get your friends in here. Bring the dogs and everything. This is going to be a good one. We are back, friends. Apocalypse Hardpoint coming up next here in the Grand Finals of Major 4, presented by Game Fuel. Dallas Empire, Atlanta Phase, in what has been a thrilling and, quite frankly, exhausting series. These two teams truly going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, and it has been one hell of a contest. But thus far, Dallas have put themselves at tournament point. One more map win is all they need. Can Atlanta Phase mount the comeback here on Apocalypse Hardpoint Chance and force that showdown? Raid, search and destroy. We can only hope and pray as uh, as, as as completely neutral Call of Duty fans. <laughs> but for those who are batting for either side, I'm sure your fingernails are a thing of the past. Just gotta take a big breath and get ready for this, man. A uh, best of nine, it has been a long series. The players have had to be focused for, I don't even know how long it's been, an hour, two hours, but long time. ridiculous stuff so far. I mean, Eve, dude, think about the year. Dallas are one map away from winning the first land back in 470 days. This is your online world champs who are gonna be criticized more than any other team for that fact to come out in this performance after dropping Hook, which like you drop an undroppable player, it seems insane. They have turmoil throughout the middle of the year. And all of a sudden, one map away, with a, their extra pickup, their third roster change, or their second roster change that they have worked with, picking up Vivid, and they're one map away from making a half miles. I, I mean, you just have to tip the cap. It has been an incredibly impressive run for the Empire, who even if you're thinking back to Major 1, are looking for revenge. They could have been your, your Major 1 champs, but it was FaZe that took them down. They're trying to get the job done, but a BZ, a menace on the map, a player you always have to deal with. We'll see if he can get these players out of the hill. Again, this is a must win for Atlanta Phase. Tournament point for Dallas Empire. And BZ, the beautiful stars, 3-0, continuing to terrorize Dar Dallas at every single opportunity he's had. 
Lee, though, will hold down Temple side. That's a very, very important spot to be in. Dallas have spawned a little funny, but they should be able to cross over. Shotzi will be first in. Abizi now through the backside of the Temple. And Illy's job now is to hold this position as best he possibly can. Dig the heels in. Do not let Atlanta phase in, because if they get in, a lot of hard point time will go their way on that coveted second hill. So far, though, on first, Illy grabs from Atlanta phase. Decent amount of time, but they are yet to break in. But it's the Terrors, both of them, lined up now. And Illy will drop. He doesn't take one with him. Crim's up next. And a BC, five in a row. This is a cruising through Temple side. Their prayers have been answered, and they've got themselves P2. Literal perfection. You spawn on the bad side. You have an opening break. You got a busy. He's on a five spree looking for streaks. You got Selium this far up the map looking for some kills and well, he gets dealt with. But look at the amount of pressure Dallas have on the map. It's zero. They don't have any. A perfect rotation and some great teamwork coming through of BZ. He needs one kill to get streaks this early in the game. Takes him zero seconds to deliver. Finds the first. Give him the cruise or maybe don't. Uh -oh. Take his kill. Make him earn it as you just have perfection on P2. This is going to be a full 60. And what a way to set the tone. Your back is against Whoa. the wall and you open the map like this. Oh, my word. Full streaks. Not a death in sight for a BZ and a beautiful opening here on Apocalypse for Atlanta phase. And bear in mind as well that the hard points in this grand final have been going all the way to Dallas Empire. Stats be damned. Rotation will come underway though and it will see Illy. Dallas Empire able to get themselves on the board. But after two difficult hard points, they have not exactly looked good in the score department. However, that being said, once again, Apocalypse, we've seen some mighty comebacks on this map. Be able to chain those hard points together on a BZ 9-0. Sweet. I mean, someone stop him. Someone's got to put an end to this run. Krim... Thank goodness, because that was starting to get highlight reel worthy. I mean, it just took him two minutes and ten seconds to die a single time. That is not an ideal stat, and he's not even wasting time. Doesn't want to save it for the P3 breaks. Make it happen right here. P4, excuse me. Gonna try to curve it. He's able to pick up two. His teammates can't even clear the point because Illy from inside gets the double headshot feed. So that is a cruise missile used on a hill that is very much protected. And all for not potentially... I mean, Empire making the best of a, a very bad situation. Still 20 seconds of scrap time they're going to be thinking about. But if you're thinking about the rotation, Selim, he's been posted up on that statue for quite some time. Atlanta are making sure they do not get out-rotated as Empire maybe starting to think about potentially working their way through no man's. They're going to swing around the back of the map. These are important gunfights. RCDs has some pressure on them. RCDs, the pressure is certainly on, and here we go. Let's go for a very quick Astro Gaming listening with Atlanta Phase and see how they handle this push. Watch out, watch out, good try, good try. Look for Krim, look for Krim and Chelsea. One in the back, one in the back. I got a front, I got a front, I got a front. I bench, I bench. Yo, Zig, Zig dead. Zig one shot, Zig one shot. Absolutely, Zig, watch the slide out, Coop. Coop, 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 they're all rotating, they're all rotating. Now they have two, guys. Yeah, they are rotating. I'm pitching them, I'm pitching them, I'm pitching them. Two more there, two more there, two more there. Last two. Nice! Nice! I'm blocking, I'm blocking. I'm blocking, I'm blocking. Keep 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 blocking. Ke
But right Simple now, stuff. <laughs> simple stuff, baby. But right now, that central hard point being contested now by Atlanta Phase. Again, you can see those white arrows on the minimap doing the good work there. But again, lining up for the next one is going to be Dallas Empire. They do have second temple side, right hand side of the map, a powerful position to be in. Got it? It's all theirs. 100 points separating these two teams right now. And a big old comeback. It's got to have to happen. Unless Dallas, we're going to raid, search, and destroy for that final oh, wow. map. And oh my god, they've killed them all. Dallas are down, the pings are out, and here comes the hit from Selium. And what did I say a minute ago? Same alive, bad. When Selium's dead, it's good. And man, it is good right now for Atlanta Face. And I love just a little ping to be like, yep, everything's clear. But when the hill actually pops, a lot of gunfights get oh, lost. Wow. And Empire able to surge through, unfortunately. Well, you do have to deal with the BZ. He's going on the quick, quick wrap. And it looks like Illy's oh going to read God. it, but he can't win the gunfight. Tyler Ferris, ever present on the map. And they're dropping the bombs to get the break. You got a 100-point lead right now. BZ wins another gunfight towards the back. It takes a team oh, kill with the inside, on. but you can't stop a BZ. Doesn't make a difference. Holy I can't say the word. He's 25 and 7 miles. I'm the one with the beat button, baby. He's 25 and 7 now on a six spree. A BZ fighting tooth and nail like his life depends on it to force that final round. And here we go. Illy's trying to get it done through the front. And oh, man, he takes the terrors with him. Now trying to get onto that hard point. This is such a difficult battle for Dallas Empire. Such a hard map to, to even find success on unless you have those rotations and those decent holds. And so far, they may get to the point a phase blistering pace here on Apocalypse. Cut them down every chance they get. Our points up. I I'm still just inherently, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, inherently just terrified of Ibiza. Uh, again, he is just lighting the kill feed up. Even Sim starting to pick up a couple kills right now. Someone needs to turn things around for the Empire shots. He's trying to be that guy. And the SMGs are the guys picking up He's kills guy. in the feed. And well, you kill a BZ, another good thing to have happen. But even Arsides with his 74U can make something happen. He's on a four spree as well. This is just 74U dominance all over the map for Atlanta Face. I mean, every possible avenue of attack is just going the way of Atlanta Face. And this is an absolute whooping here on Apocalypse. If 20 plus seconds remaining in this hard point and phase, I mean, they're going to grab it. Rotations are down. Dallas Empire control of that top side of the map. They should be able to get in there, but they do not want to let this time go. At this point in time, if you're Dallas, I mean, are you talking raid, search, and destroy strats? Is that where your head is at? This is such an ass-whooping chance. That can of ass-whooping, that's long gone, mate. That can's already been recycled, and that can is now already being repurposed as something else, because this has been something special. A BZ 29 and 12, 24 and 16 for Sim. 21 and 12 for Selium. Sweet. Sweet candy. This is good COD. And the, the biggest issue right now for the Empire, who are obviously oh going to lose this oh game on this obviously. hill. You have just given up a performance where it's not like Atlanta FaZe are stressed out at this point. You have just given them all of the confidence in the world. I mean, it'd be easy. 31 and 12, everyone across the board. You have two players uh, on the side of Empire that just went double negative. I'm not saying Empire oh, don't have it on. in them to bounce back, but FaZe, in a dominant fashion, are going to be carrying a ton of momentum into that game nine. That was an electric performance from start to finish. The tiny terrors terrorize indeed. For the first time, ladies and gentlemen, Call of Duty League history, we can safely say it, we are going to a game nine. This tournament major four is going the whole way as these players are putting everything into this one and not letting this one slide. Dallas Empire backs against the wall throughout most of the tournament, playing from that lower bracket. It has been tragedy upon tragedy to get them to this point, and here they find themselves in that final map. For Atlanta Fades, you're playing for pride. You're playing for the fact that, yeah, the online era of COD, we've ran it in Cold War. Now on land, we are trying to get the job done. We are tied up 4-4. We're going into a final map. And you are going to that final map for phase again, just full speed ahead. A BZ nearly gets that 5K damage mark simp and sell him right there with them. That was just an absurd performance from start to finish. Happy to be on Apocalypse because Atlanta phase are trying to bring the Apocalypse. Just an insane performance, even on P1, getting the majority of time. A blind every game, you put him in the 100 point club right before the final map. We get to see if it's enough to get the job done. Will it be enough? To get the job done, Atlanta Phase riding the momentum into this final map, the absolute last map here in the tournament. Major 4 has been a blinder, friends. An exceptional, exceptional contest. And after this quick commercial break, we will finally decide a champion. Don't go anywhere, friends. This is it.
the game has turned on its head. Run! Run! Get onto the point! Sammy just finds himself two more. Oh, baby! Absolutely slate. What a magnificent comeback from Atlanta. Dallas Empire have smashed the gates open. Bella with the round one ace. Oh, it's a shot punch. Oh, no. Once again, they save the day. Truly does all come down to this. A single map to decide our tournament. So we look back over the stage, or actually over the year so far now. For Dallas Empire Atlanta phase, it was 5-2. The first time these two teams met. A 5-3 loss to Ultra there in stage number two, and a massive victory in stage three against the New York Subliners. But now, things are different. Those first three majors, the era of online COD slowly fizzling to an end. As we slowly but surely reopen doors, welcome fans, welcome players, and everyone back indoors as the world slowly starts to heal. We will see a new champion potentially crowned here if Dallas Empire can close this one out. My name is Miles Ross, his name is Chance. We hope you are well hydrated, very comfortable, and hopefully well fed because we don't want you to go anywhere, really. This is going to be one hell of a match. Chance, we've come a long way, mate. Tell me about these teams. Tell me about how wonderful both these teams are and the incredible journey they've both gone on. I don't even know where to begin. Like the, well, we'll start with Atlanta because it's easier. They've been dominant the entire year, either first or second place. They are, their home is the grand finals. Even last year, their home has been the grand finals. The players are ridiculous. They live for these moments. This is what they do. On the flip side for Dallas, like you're reigning world champs, like in an online fashion, have now come out on the first LAN and are a map away from taking care of business, getting the job done. They dropped an undroppable player and somehow potentially have gotten even better looking for revenge against FaZe, who beat them a few months ago. A ridiculous situation that we find ourselves in. Both of these teams have been playing out of their mind. And keep in mind, it's been a very long series. This is a best of nine. This is like doubling up on the scrims. This is a yeah, seven hours straight oh yeah, baby. that Empire have been going at it. This has been a day and a half for these guys. And it's what they live for, man. This one final map. So it's your soundboard powered by Astro. Their silence is calling it perfectly. That is one hell of a series in front of us, friends. But again, for Dallas, I mean, the adrenal fatigue, these incredible comebacks, they have got to be exhausted. And that mental clarity still has to be at an all-time high, if not the highest it's been all day. Raid, Search and Destroy, a very, very solid map. A very, very important one, of course, that the entire tournament now hangs in the balance. Everything comes down to this chance. The same can be said for FaZe. They managed to get that winner's bracket run. They managed to basically dictate the entire series based on the vetoes. And in the end, it really does come down to one more map. Do Dallas Empire have the resolve and the stamina to keep going, to keep putting up these historic plays, these career highs for some of these players? Krim has won the most Call of Duty tournaments in the entire world. Has he still got it in him to dig deep when it really matters and pull home a win? Oh my God. To start the game, fist bumps are out, let's go! The final map chance of what has been a historic tournament, the first time back on LAN in 470 days, and we are treated to one hell of a spectacle. Game nine, raid, search and destroy, and it starts right now. And that is one of the craziest things, man. Atlanta phase these past two years, there's been, I think, three tournaments where they haven't made the grand finals. This is their home. They're playing against Krim, who like is Mr. Grand Finals. He has been winning tournaments for a literal decade at this point. And we're going to Raid, where he won a ton of tournaments back in the day as well. Krim, you gotta keep an eye on him. But frankly, it is across the lobby. We have seen a ton of battles, but if you're looking at the head-to-head, -head, just for the sake of getting out there, FaZe has been better on this map all year long, but Empire, if it's not clear yet, they have hit potentially their final form. They are knocking on the devil's door in a very slow round. I think they literally just had to figure out where they wanted to go. <laughs> Maybe, or is this just to throw timing off a little? You see FaZe getting somewhat skittish. And again, the smiles of the players on FaZe have gone. It is strictly business now. The little demons that we've seen them be throughout the season laughing with glee as they rip their opponents to pieces. Those smiles are gone and it's strictly business. But here we go. Over towards... Oh! What a oh, stick wow. from Abizi! What a throw through pillars, through the concrete bollards and right into the back pocket of Vivid. Oh my word, what a first blood that was. 
And of all the people to do it, Mr. First Blood himself, Chance, less than 50 on the clock. And this is the home too. Habizi and Simp working in the middle of the map, playing the angles. Simp, he knows the deal. He's feeding the information. And he's only seen one player cross, so his teammates that are right now back jungle maybe can start making moves. They give up the bomb plant, and he never saw Shati again. He knows one player pushed the laundry. Oh, Illy. Easy, busy. Busy. Oh, my word. A busy feeling confident, but that's it. It's trusting his teammate to get the kill. 4v2 now. 30 seconds left on the bomb. Shot C. Nice killer there. And the second. Oh, my word. Oh, the hip fire, though. Selian will live to fight another day. 1v2. As Krim now has to keep the bomb safe. Selium's going to peek out. He will drop. 50 seconds on the clock and a BZ so far, so dangerous. The first kill in the round and the last. He gets the defuse. And FaZe get on the board first. Absolutely clinical. Just a, a perfectly played round that the stick gives you that man advantage. Simp and BZ working in tandem to find that kill top ring. Shati, Mr. MVP, making things spicy. Picking up the two piece and nearly turned it into three. It is clean work out of both teams and near heroics out of either. Even Krim for the 1v2. He had the right idea. If he rounds that corner and gets away, Ibizi might not be able to clutch it. That is a die around for a first one to phase. Get the job done. Their turn to attack. And we know that these guys love to be aggressive on raid and to be they go. And for Empire, they've sent everybody towards the middle of the map. There's nobody here. Nobody home. You can get this down for free. Or Shotzi can find the play. Gets the first play. Oh, can't get away with his life, though. Abizi's going to overshoot now quickly. He should catch Krim. Krim's dead. Krim's dead. Krim's dead. He made a bit of a meal of it, but 2v3 now. Dallas, they're in kitchen. They're going to have high ground over the bomb now, but not the best angles to work with. Trophies, thank God for those. Illy stays alive. Vivid, he's getting aggressive. Oh, stops the bomb being planted, but uh, it's not going to be enough. Philly's going to get cut down as well. Too many members of FaZe up. Too solid a work, and that's going to be two rounds now to Atlanta FaZe. And that is that tried and true uh, of easy swagger, right? There might have been moments in Express where you just expect him to run the show, but he couldn't quite make it happen. This is a, a best of nine, map nine in the grand finals, and he just immediately sprints to the other team's spawn. He's doing this on the biggest stage in the biggest moment. No fear in this kid's heart. 4-0 and start as well. And you just know they're going right back to the middle of the map. They're going to dominate it. Maybe Illy goes for some wall bangs, but Simpin and Beasy, Tiny Terrors. This will be their home on defense. They have just taken control once again. And for Empire, well, you can play off the information all you want. If you don't have that map control, it is going to be tough to fight around these two. These two creatures of the night, Simpin and Beasy, flying around mid-map. Perfect coverage on one another. Illy, though, oh my word. The silver bullet for one of those monsters takes down a BZ. The first blood. Less than a minute now to play with. Selium's inside kitchen. And look at these angles. Look at these angles! Selium! The tractor is out. The man clearly passed. Mathematics. He had that one over by the top rock, and now he's got one in kitchen. Lovely stuff to make it a 3v3. Now, on site, being slowly but surely overwhelmed corner by corner now by Dallas Empire. They're going to get themselves on A, but it's a three-man stacking towards the back, and Grim's on the other side of the map. They're going quick as well. Yeah, Vivid's going to see at least one, maybe two. They're going to have to get out of dodge. They planted four laundry side, but now FaZe, they've taken complete control of it. And you have Krim, by the way, the, the sort of late man potential hero to make the play. All three players working through laundry. So right now it is a 3v2. Krim's not going to be in these fights. Great coverage from Shotzi. Here comes the play on the outside. Vivid's still lying in wait. Vivid strikes beautifully. Can he find the second on Oastatis? Yes, he does. Dallas finally get themselves on the board. Two to one. What a round, man. And again, just playing off that information. You <gasps> find a dead body to oh, lay in nice. and find. Why not? Be a little bit cheeky. Vivid. Being the playmaker and even had the help. And by the way, the, the moment I'm thinking Krim might not be in the fights, as soon as he realizes middle of the map isn't being used, he's immediately wrapping back to art to help his teammates back. So they are on point, stopping the bleeding. Dallas Empire able to get one round on board. Phase last time around, a BZ. I mean, he just sprinted straight through B. And they're thinking about a B push once again. And Simp, uh, again, the manipulator of the map, the guy who has the opportunity to make the plays. He's playing by himself in art. So watch the mini map for him as the first blood of BZ finds it with the sub. Billy has been completely eviscerated there. Now he's up and about. Vivid. It lands, it's good. But Simp, wow, shots at range. A BZ now up close. Backing up Asti's now by the pull steps. A slow and steady flank now. It's on Krim to hopefully catch Simp out on the inside of the garage. But will he check those corners? If he does, all good. Oh my word, he's made quite a lot of noise. Simp heard it. Simp heard it. And he devours him. 
Less than 30 seconds remaining now. Vivid, the last player left up. They're going to hunt him down and kill him. And he barely had time to make it to the edge of the map. He's gone. 3-1. Phase starting to walk away with it. And that is simple stuff done incredibly well. Clean shots coming through from Abizi to take down that first blood. And keep in mind, Simp was effectively keeping two players at bay. He's like dishing out shoulders to one guy over towards Art. He finds the pick towards the middle of the map. So Simp is making his teammate's life very easy. But another first blood for Abizi. Six kills to his name. Faze looking strong so far on raid, and it is a full stack from both teams over towards A. Can't wait for see how this one goes down. Trophies have been blown up all over the place. Did it. First blood. Shots are in. They're going to land it. Over to Abizi now. Behind the van. He's in trouble. The trophies are going to save him for now. And can he get the kill? No. Shots. He lands it as well. So there you go. Selium trying to make things that bit safer for Atlanta Faze on the push over towards the bomb. And there we go. Dallas are like, look, we've seen enough. We're out. And a few seconds have gone by. RCD is just now kind of thought of the idea, but he's going to be able to get to, to Garden or Money window before Empire start to work out. So he is making the read on this fight. And there's the first, but he can't find the kill. He stops the push, and he certainly bought some time. And they have not seen Selim on the map in 45 seconds. And he's playing top art. Empire goes marching three by three. Hurrah, but Selim, if they come in here, Oh, it's going to be awful. They know that these players are going to be around them somewhere, but oh no, Cell. He's got the wrap on these players. He has the angles. The bomb site wide open. Hasn't seen a thing yet. He may have seen the tip of Illy and oh, he's seen Shotzi. The first kill lands. 2v2. Asti's now to provide the reinforcements. The bomb will be recovered in a brief moment. There it is. Vivid has it. Has to get the plant down fast. Illy must cover the bomb now. Asti's bringing himself forward. Top position taken care of, makes it a 1v1. Now it's Arsties and Illy. Illy with a high ground, and from up high, the shots are there. Can he finish the kill though? Illy, this is for the round. RCT still has to defuse the bomb, and the 1v1 still ring around the rosy here, and Illy will land the shots. And it's 3-2 Dallas Empire. Ho, ho, ho. Taking him down. With the finesse in ring, Illy lives for the SD 1v1s and he provides. It cannot be understated how phenomenally Illy has been playing all day long. And you talk about, I mean, one of the most important 1v1s of his career. I'm sure, like Champs last year, he probably had a couple there, but <laughs> yeah. a hell of a one to get. The difference between being down 4 1 and 3 2, insurmountable phase, switching things up, aggressive over towards A. It looks like Crim6, he's going to back all the way up. Him and Vivid potentially working together, but at least the bomb for the moment is going to be open. And keep in mind, Simp, the, the guy that manipulates the map, that runs the oh, show. Wow. Well, he's not in the picture yet because Illy able to find the first blood through the middle of the map. Phase letting that one slip through. That was the bomb planter as well. So now you have to put yourself in a precarious position to try to grab that one. You know the comms were there. Simp's going to have top art control. You have laundry side covered. This should be good now in this classic 3v3. Grim will check every single possible corner, but Atlanta Faze opting to move to that right-hand side. Overwhelming shot. See, they do. They cut him down. With that, it's now a 3v2. They've covered that right-hand side of the map. They planted for... And they planted for our side. Like, they've got everything covered. Krim can't find the kill. Abizi gets out one shot. And now you got 25 seconds to defuse when you got to deal with all the head glitches and Vivid can't quite find the pick. Oh, oh. And I lied. They didn't oh. plan for the side. Vivid's going to be going for it. But Selene finds the kill. He can't get one. And Abizi there for the trades. I got baited in the same <laughs> way that Empire, at least for a second, might have. I remember he tried to plan for mid-map earlier. I quit paying attention, oh, but wow. they all go art side, and it hunts down Shotzi, who just finds himself inadvertently fighting a 3v1. Play calls from FaZe on point. They're juking me out, and I can see everything. X-ray vision. Man. Two more rounds, and Atlanta FaZe can call themselves the major four champions. Shotzi with the bomb in hand now as Dallas Empire look to find an attacking round to their name. Early flash is going to see Vivid blinded only temporarily, but it's the information that FaZe will now be able to work with. Reshuffle on the defense, it's not going to matter too much. As the superstar Shotzi has been put to an early grave here in this round. Illy recovers the bomb, and we should see this planted fast. Vivid with one side of the map covered. Crim's got the other, but FaZe have the numbers here. Let's see how they go for the retake chance. They should be able to just headbutt their way through this one. 
Oh, no. No, that's not what they're going to do. They're going to go for that full wrap. They're going to take four men to bully out Vivid. He is, in, like, eyes on one for the moment, but it is the whole team coming. Vivid, good luck with this one. Here we go. First through. Abizi. Cut down. Second player there. No shot punch to be had. Selim's already managed to make his way closer inside the ring. Illy's shoulders have been seen. Krim, though, from up high. Will he be able to help out? The answer is no. Astis gets him. Illy is gone. Destroyed. 13 seconds for the defuse. And as those digits go in, as that bomb is made safe, Raid has been pacified. We have one more round, and Atlanta FaZe will call themselves champions here today. And they are giving nothing away on their way to this championship, right? Even just the baits, it's easy might fall, but the trades are quick. Selim, the perfect bait down low. Some of the most cracked movement AR players are going to have. Selim down low, opening up the map in wow. varsities with a big win. The statement on the round in phase, they are just playing near-perfect Call of Duty, mistake-free, 5-2 advantage, one round away from getting the championship again. And on the attack they go. They've shown B looks, they've shown A looks, they can go wherever they want. Maybe they choose the middle of the map. Middle of the map, they're all in. Trying something very, very different. Illy, good luck, here they come. First tags are in. The BZ's real hurt. Into the kitchen he goes. They've got rounds to throw and he doesn't care. Tyler Farris flies through the fire and the flames into the kitchen and gets into the kill feed. 3v3 now. Breathe a sigh of relief for a short spell. On being planted. Shotsy though. Nice spot to be in. Vivid from behind. It's a beautiful round now. It's a 2v1. Selium though. Selium trying to make this that bit more interesting. The bomb doesn't get planted. And now chance them. 2v1. Oh, so, I mean, he can keep flying around. The way he's playing this map right now, I have faith he can land the 2v1 for the championship. And Krim, by the way, he's just been chilling in the middle of the map. They're going to give up this bomb plan for free. And if I'm selling, plant the bomb. If you can get to top bedroom, there is so much clutch potential. The 1v2 for the chip. And he reads Ooh. Krim like a book, but oh my god, Ooh. Krim 6. The shots are too clean. No clutch in the round win. But I'm starting to feel the stress. If I'm Illy, I'm questioning my existence of how difficult it is to kill a BZ. Walking through nades, hellfire, gunfire, everything for the first bloods. The Dallas Empire down, but not out. The bounce back round and the gunny from Krim. D just melted him. Melted. We're not off the hook yet for Dallas. That was a very, very good round, but it is still tournament point. Atlanta phase. One more round. All they need. Dallas, how much more magic have you got in you, Krim? The old goat. Still <sighs> trying to find that magic here. Slower push. Trying to break those timings. The BZ's going to make his way forward. You're going to see mid-map control going the way of Atlanta phase. And here comes the tried and true. Up over the top. Good shot. Sim gets the one on the other side. But the wall bang does finish out. And Vivid now to mid-map. Finds two kills. Nice work. As it's out, a 2v3. Atlanta phase. Not a lot of coverage now on the map. Mid-map now for Asties. If Illy makes his way up there, he's in trouble. Going through Art, though, that's going to be Selim about to hit the flank. Oh, my God. And he gets out. He finds the pick, and he gets out, and he's got the flank coming in as well. But Illy makes the read in the final moments. Crack open the book, and you find a chapter on the flanks. Illy, he wrote the thing. 1v2 for Arsides. Again, a 1v2 potential for the chip. Medallis too quick with the rotations. They're going to get this bomb planted for A. Arcees, try to make some magic happen. He's moving fast. He's moving real quick. Oh, not able to get the kill. Vivid, though, he will challenge it. One of the meanest ARs in the league, and he will take those shots, and the tags are there. Illy, he makes it a 1v1, but only for a brief moment. One more round. Dallas need to tie this up. Atlanta phase, it's starting to get a little bit dangerous. 5-4. And the Pope, he's going to say three Hail Marys and an Our Father. Great reads on that one and, and making sure that double challenge towards the end gets coordinated well. Arcides, you give him an extra half second. He might make something work, but that is two in a row. Phase, they have gone to B, gone to A, gone to the middle of the map. They have been everywhere debating on what they want to do. Well, play for picks. If you can't figure it out, play it like it's Moscow. Look for some information. Feel out the round just a little bit. Leaning towards this B site, and wow, this might end up working perfectly. They've been, it's just been given up. Empire, they're expecting this to be an A. Empire are waiting for like an A retake, as if they're trying to let the bomb get planted and swarm immediately, but nobody's home. 
the least information anyone has ever had in a round of Call of Duty. <laughs> but FaZe do make the commitment. They get the bomb planted at B, and they get the full setup. You get right now, RZDs can sit back and watch the flank for free all the way back garden, get a man and Tiki and two in bedroom. In my mind, this is almost unbreakable. Empire, you got your work cut out for you. And they do the impossible. It felt like almost intentional. Vivid, first blood, goes to Sim. Selium still from that top bedroom position. Trying to overwhelm Sim on the inside, but that is Sim you're trying to overwhelm, and he finds two. Shotzi, though, tries to bring it level. It's still a 3v2. Illy takes care of top bed. 2v2 right now. Shotzi looking to play forward, but it's a BZ there. Illy, last player left alive, and it's a two-man hit. And with that, Atlanta FaZe have finally done it. It is over. It is done. The perfect setup reigns supreme, and they get the job done. Dallas may be kicking themselves there. They almost had it. It was an incredible battle. But in the end, FaZe simply too strong. An incredible run. Chance, what a tournament. What a map. What an entire series we have just witnessed. And what ice in the veins of Atlanta FaZe. Getting the job done, taking care of business. A incredibly long series, but they've been the best team in the game all year long. And today was no different. They get the top spot. They are three for four with tournament wins online, on land, doesn't matter. Too good, too clean, taking care of business. And well, commiserations to the Dallas Empire. I mean, for how little time they have had with this team, they have certainly proved that they are a force to be reckoned with. We have a new contender for the top spot, but everybody that's a contender is fighting tooth and nail to take this team down. Unreal performances. You take a round of raid control where you think you have a massive advantage against FaZe, they find a way to win it. You think you start beating them on Moscow and that's the key to beat them in a series, they find a way to, a way to win everything else. They are down a map, like one map away from losing the tournament and they go into an apocalypse and unleash ever living hell on the opposition phase turned up when it matters most and the tiny tears again just another chip that they're able to get another just ridiculous amount of cash they add to their bank accounts the best team in the game for a reason incredibly difficult to beat best team in the game arguably the best team in the world and again a dynasty in the making we say it time and time again this level of dominance this level of skill of precision of absolute majesty ladies and gentlemen they've done it again back to back now for the first time on land it has been 470 days since we saw a land and atlanta phase they are your champions and my god what a tournament it was there's the winning moment, and you know it feels so good, man. After what an incredible day that was. Blood, sweat, tears, you name it. They went through everything to get there. And for Dallas, I mean, it hurts. It hurts so much to come so close, and be so far in those final moments. But my God, did they play their hearts out. Did they play some of the most beautiful Call of Duty we've seen in a long time? You have to tip the cap. In fact, I think all the hats collectively tipped at the same time when we knew it was going to be a big finish. Raid, search and destroy, a favorite for FaZe. Dallas still played them hard. They still took them the distance. And my God, what a show it was. Chance, this has been an exceptional tournament. Ladies and gentlemen, your major four champions. Let the confetti loose, baby. Atlanta FaZe, they go back to back. So fresh and so clean, a gorgeous looking team. And that's the map they got it taken care of and you already know who's laying on their belly. Shoot off the guns as a celebration, but I mean, oh my God, just what a team. You throw everything in the kitchen sink at them and they just find a way to win. Down by a couple maps, they fight back. You beat them on their best. Well, they make their worst their best. Give them an advantage, they, they take the map, whatever you want to talk about, man. It is just across the board, every game mode too clean. And Arcee's a gorgeous man. I want the interview. He looks good on stage. Oh, he's getting ready. They're just over there now. They'll be with us in a moment. But, man, what a day of COD. A truly, what an incredible day. And it's very, very hard to sum this all up into sort of one moment. But our scuff play of the game, it's going to be that last round, man. I mean, it was magic at times. And it was beautiful trades either way. Power, positioning, you name it. The performance, all the Ps were there for Atlanta phase today. And Dallas, they played a good game. But in the end, chance it wasn't enough.
And, and again, they were just given like the, the complete and full setup. And, and maybe Dallas ran out of steam towards the end, but FaZe certainly did not. Ready for the first blood, Simp able to take it down. And again, you just give them a spot where it's just the, the sweet spot. I bet as soon as they got that bomb down, they knew that they were going to win, man. All the power positions, and admittedly, it gets spicy, but 15 seconds on the clock, it's just too good of a setup, too well played of a raid s and and maybe the fact that you showed them every look that you possibly had at your disposal is the reason why s and wins championships, and right there, Atlanta FaZe is the best s and team in the game. My God, what a tournament. Well, friends, that's it. We're done, but now it's time to hear from our champion. We're going to be talking to our cities. Jess is on stage with him right now for our Game Fuel Victory Spotlight. Jess, take it away. Thank you so much, Miles. That's right. We are here on stage with RCDs for your Game Fuel Victory Spotlight. I mean, RCDs, congrats on that second major win in a row, third one overall for this season. How does this win uh, stack up against the previous ones? Um, it's way better. It's on land, but... Um... I'd say that was the worst COD we've played in a while, but we still came out with the dub, so as a, I said on the Huntsman, I'm going to say it now, that shit was easy. Well, you have secured the number one seed heading into champs, so you know as we look ahead there, um, how, uh, how do you feel about potentially uh, taking home a win there as well? Are you confident you can do that? I thought we already had first seed, but uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm confident. I think today was a bad day for us. I think we still came out with the dub, so that's awesome. I think we clutched up. We showed... Well, our auto vetoes, we played APOC, hard point, 100 point clubbed them, played standoff, beat them, so that, that's good. It's good for us. Well, and this dub also has gotten you guys $200,000. So once that prize money clears to your account, what do you think you're going to spend it on? I don't know. That was the third one, so probably stocks. <laughs> <laughs> Love to hear it. Thank you so much. Miles, back on over to you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jess. I mean, well, well, no better way to sum it up, though. Asti's a true champion. There it is, friends. The end of what has been a historic and staggering Call of Duty League tournament. We hope you've enjoyed the ride. It has been one hell of a show. Chance, how are you feeling, mate? Can you even sum it up? Is it possible? I, I would just sum it up by saying I think FaZe has just proved that they are masters of their craft, right? Just like one of the best teams in the game, if not the best at every single game mode. Any weakness they have, they turn into their strengths. They genuinely lost. They're, they're two best maps. They were undefeated and only lost one map on the Moscow hardpoint. They lose those, bounce back, not a problem. You need a 100-point club in like the second to last map of the Grand Finals. They deliver on Apocalypse. It's a hard-working team that has all the talent. They have everything they could possibly want. A great coaching staff. It is very much the team to beat, and frankly, I don't know how you get it done, man. It just looks so <laughs> insanely difficult. When these guys are on point, there's no one better. So we've got another major and, of course, playoff and champs coming up later on in this year. But that's all for myself and Chance and all the other casters here in the Call of Duty League. On behalf of myself, them, and pretty much everyone else, thank you so much. We hope you enjoyed that grand finals. But we're not quite finished yet, friends. We've still got plenty more Call of Duty League goodness coming up after this break. Don't go anywhere.
a very, very happy Atlanta phase at the end of that best of nine. They dug their heels in, they persevered through that best of nine, and they would not give it up for the world. Back to back champions in our majors. Absolutely incredible. Well, I tell you what, that's just sealed the deal for our player of the stage because it is time to announce who that person is going to be. We have been teasing this all week long, and he dominated throughout stage four, and he was a very big reason his team won the title today. Selium is our Astro player of the stage, an absolutely incredible talent. And actually, Jess is standing by with him right now to find out how he feels about his team winning, but more importantly, about picking up that incredible, incredible trophy of player of the stage. So Jess, take us away. Thank you so much, Lottie. That's right, we're here with Selium. Congratulations on being named Astro player of the stage. I mean, how were you able to fry like that all stage long? Um, I mean, obviously I was playing good, but it's, it's like I have to give credit to my teammates because I think, I think they all were like, like setting me up to be in the position I am right now, and uh, I just, I just like, I just played good, and and all of them were just playing good as well. So, yeah, that's it. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it's as simple as that. Everyone played good. Now, I know it seems like there isn't a whole lot you really need to work on, but, you know, you're the number one seed heading into champs. So in the uh, couple months we have until then, and, of course, we have another major in there, what's going to be the focus for the team? Um, our main focus is going to be, like, just and just trying to fix up our mistakes. Like, like I think that series it was, like, a little sloppy, but um, our whole team knows that, and we're going to come back into the next major stronger than this. So hopefully next major we come back and uh, win the, the, the next one So for the three-peat. So I know last time I talked to you, I believe it must have been last major, you were telling me you were going to celebrate by going and getting some Popeyes. Any uh, idea how you're going to celebrate this win? Uh, um, to celebrate tonight, I'm going to just spend time with the team and just watch the whole match back and just try to vibe with the, the team and just try to, you know, just vibe. Sounds like a great plan. Well, congrats on the win. Congrats on player of the stage. Lottie, back on over to you.